All right, hold up. I had to actually get to the menu first, guys. Chill out, guys. Welcome in, Lot Press Facts. This song is trash. The what? This one? Right at the top? Damn, you guys suck. I don't like you. Okay, the Edge of Dawn bit. Like, I don't like. I don't like the. I don't like the vocals bit. I don't like the vocals bit. The rest of it. Mmm. That stuff's good, guys. Welcome in. It's bad. Shut. I'm banning you right now. That's it. Deleting. Deleting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's too EDM, bro. That's the point. It's time to not finish this game again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finish the game. Actual trash garbage. We're doing it live tonight. That's guy. Guys, welcome in. Welcome in Justin Lapras Lajran. Pocket Monster. Dex, one of our beautiful mods. And Mecha. Some of you know him. We're playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. At any point, you can hit the rules. The rules are really like. They don't really apply to my actions at this point. Finish the game. Yeah. EDM better than not EDM. See, Justin's kind of got a point though, you guys. The rules don't really restrict any of the actions that I can take right now. What's up, Fess89? But they've informed everything that has happened up until this point, including my team building. Right? Like, including everything I got. All these units I have, there were restrictions placed upon my actions and upon what I can do to train them and upon what I can do to bring them here. But now we've finally made it to the finale, the last two chapters. I have no more monastery to do. I have no more even starting to do. This is it. Like, I have to go into the last two maps straight up back to back. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let's show, let's show off the team. Let's show off the team who we got. Hype factor off the charts. Yeah, by the way, at any time, though, you could put an X come in and listen get the rules. I'm Raisins. I stream Fire Emblem. And this is going to be the end game stream. Hi, Jack. Ah! Another one. And this is going to be the end game stream. <laughs> We're beating the last few chapters of Crimson Flower today. So who do we have? Stay hydrated, homies. So who do we have? Let's show off the team. I know my webcam is probably cutting off. Like, how far is this cutting off on the right side? It's cutting off their names. You know who they are. Right? Who we got? I'm probably going to stick to the same plan I did last time. Hydrate <laughs> your homies. Going to do a interview? How? You know what? Screw it. Let's do a interview. Let's do a interview. Right? Let's do a unit review right, ahe right ahead. Right? Because it wouldn't be a Raisin stream unless we spend like at least 30 minutes in preps, right? And I've already done the preps. So let's just go ahead and do this, right? Well, we got some Fierce's Fire going on. Right? So who do we got? First off, we got our main girl, based opinion coming. <laughs> Hydra homies. We got our main girl. We got Fergie. We got Byleth. Now, Byleth and Edelgard are pretty similar in that with both of these I did a super unit. I just say I kept them at level one until they got their free promotion at their master at in the case of Fergie was her master class enlightened one. She got a totally free promotion there. So she got a giant wad of stat boosts. Just like an absolute ton of stats all at once. And then she got to level up. She got to level up and get even more stats. This is what we have right now. Minimal growths. <laughs> Minimal growth. I don't know what you're talking about. Minimalist. I could I could get a hex switch and do zero percent growth uh, three houses, but that's not today. Look at these stats, though. Seriously, 62 HP. That's a few robes, though. Okay, I think I put like two, maybe three robes on this unit. Okay, it's like 62. It's more like uh, 47, but like still, still, still 40 strength. That is immense. 28 magic. Huge. The growth not max. It's a pass. Yeah, because, I mean, don't forget, she literally got Enlightened One bases and then 35 level ups past that. So she started at, like, 17s, and this is 35 level ups past that. She's basically a level 55 unit. It's a pass. <laughs> Sun Tzu with the Art of War, exactly. And even things like, like this defense, this res, they ain't bad. This, stat, this boost of stats has been pretty good, pretty handy, won't lie. What else do we have? Okay, let me see. Am I, is my webcam blocking the abilities over here? Although, oh, now you can see him. It's walking like prowess. Oh, no, it's walking prowess. 
What do we got on the right side? How do I keep this down in my back in three houses? I don't know. But what do we have? We have mostly Battalion Vantage and Battalion Desperation. Yo, this ability has been sick all run long. There are a lot of Armor Knights here, right? There's a lot of slow enemies. There's a lot of fast enemies in Crimson Flower too, but there are a ton of really slow enemies in Crimson Flower and you can just totally wreck them with Battalion Desperation, right? Like just complete murder pwn them. And of course the Mockingbird Sleeves, just anything to give them plus hit and plus crit. The giant plus hit plus crit bat, however, is not on Fergie, it's on Edelgard. That's right, she's in Warrior. Warrior for that Axe Crypt plus 10. I know my webcam might be blocking it, but she wants Axe Crypt plus 10. That's why she's in Warrior right now as opposed to Empress. I did something similar with her. She's a super unit, right? She got her giant wad of stats right away. Right away. <laughs> you know what else deals with Armanites really well? Uh, Lemon Sword, right? Anyway. <laughs> now, it, does, it deals this weird kind of damage that like goes through defenses. I don't know. I don't know how else I can get it except Lemon Sword, to be honest with you. But no, we got Edelgard. She has immense strength and defense. Like, it's absolutely huge. And, of course, the Keyhole Wyvern Co. Come on. We have Keyhole Wyvern. It's injured. We have Battalion Vantage. Good skill, that Battalion Vantage, dude. Always hit first. That should be enough, too, with the Devil Axe. Like, one-shot all of these mages in the middle of the map. And then, with Wrath. I hope she gets Wrath. Um, she'll probably be able to get into it with Devil Axe. Just taking damage from the Devil Axe, she'll be able to get into Wrath range. And then she's totally Vantage Wrath. Her freaking Crest of Flames. Thumbs down. Remove this. Remove this. If I could remove that crest, boy, I would. Boy, I would. Stop healing, woman. Stop healing. F tier. F tier crest right now. It's honestly, it was messing me up so much. I think it cost me a Divine Pulse last time I attempted this map. Because it healed her out of Wrath range. I was like, damn it, guys, come on. It was so bad. Get her out of that. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I haven't really scrolled right to check out, like, weapon ranks. Crest of Saros, though. Crest of Saros is okay, man. I'll take I'll take Crest of Saros. I'm never upset when Crest of Saros procs. But Crest of Flames, I'm like, please get me out of here. I guess you guys can't really see weapon ranks. But, like, the weapon ranks here are pretty, like, they're pretty sparse. This isn't, like, a normal maddening run. Like, we got, like, what, Sword A, Authority A+, Faith D. Last time I got her to C, and I was like, no, I can't even I can't even heal. Anyway, after that, we have this unit. She's in a weird champ class called Mage. And yeah, guys, guess what? She's staying Mage literally all game long. She joined she joined as a level 27 something mage. And she's leaving the game as a level 33 mage. Alright? She she ain't not going to Warlock. She ain't not going to Bishop. She ain't not going to Grimmery. She's just sticking in Mage. Why? Is this spell called Fire? This spell called Fire is really freaking good, dude. High accuracy, high speed. You bet it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, strength 8, defense 3. Kind of sucks. But it doesn't matter, because she one-shots practically everything with her giant magic set anyway. She is wielding no special skills. I think she has Battalion Desperation. But the only reason she's wielding Battalion Desperation is because her ability bank like actually sucks. Wait, hold on, never mind, Fiendish Blow. What the hell? How did I forget that? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Good thing I actually checked. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Hell, there, there's a, there's a kind of a good skill here, actually. Uh, ooh, which, do we actually want Faith, or do we want... Let's do that. What's her charm? I don't think her charm is actually really that good. Yeah, it's 14. <laughs> Squandered Lysithia. No, okay, here's the thing, though, Duck. Like, you, I got her partway through part two. I got her in chapter 14. No, I got her after chapter 14. So you literally had four chapters to use her, and she was a mage. And because of the rule of the run, one of the rules of the run is that I can't take a cert unless it's a 100% pass rate. Which meant that I literally couldn't cert her out of mage. Defensive tactics ain't doing anything on Lysithia. I mean, but like, neither is authority. Oh, true though. She actually, she actually does just get one shot. You have a good point. You have, you have a good point, Co. 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 Coca do a number two. Oh, shoot. Now there's raisins. Oh, true. Yeah, no, actually, she just doesn't even take damage to begin with. So. Was this unit happy? I think she's kind of good. Happy's in priest. Similar to the other ones, man. Turns out intermediate classes are kind of good. Priest is quite nice. It get, you get heal touch. You get white magic heal plus five. Imagine partnering less of it. Yeah, it couldn't be me. She's staying a mage. Honestly, if I had the choice to put her in Grammary, I would maybe consider Grammary. I mean, who am I kidding? I'll definitely do Grammary. 
But like, I, no, not Warlock. If I had Warlock, I wouldn't do Warlock. If I had Bishop, I'd think about it. I'd think about Bishop. Bishop's pretty good for an extra warp cast, which I did need. <laughs> but yeah, no, not right now. Noble Lysithia? Mm, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Actually, HP plus five. Pretty good. How about Monk Lysithia for magic plus two? Monk Lysithia. Let's do that. But no, Fire Spell is pretty good. Turns out White Magic Heal as well. Pretty good on Happy. Pretty good White Magic Heal. Just Heal Touch. That's it. Uh, her abilities are also kind of shit. She's got like, what, Battalion Wrath, I think? Can she do anything else or no? I did promote her recently just to get the 12 defense, and then I immediately sorted her back. Right? Just pretty much. I think she got like, what, 5 defense out the deal? It's probably not going to even do anything, but just in case. That's true. The game promoted Lysithia. I didn't get the promoted one. Oh, and then Yuritsa. Hey, hey let's go Yuritsa. Dude, Yuritsa is pretty freaking good as it turns out. This is my first time in ages having him in a Lance class. I think I had him in a Lance class in Chapter 13. All right, I was just like, you know what? Let's have him in Death Knight. Sounds pretty good. And then I immediately took him out and he was in Hero for like literally all the other maps. Uh, this time, however, there's a, there's a boss with swords whom I need to both hit and avoid. So I'm like, well, Sword Breaker seems like a kind of a good ability on this map. So I switched him into Paladin. That should be pretty good. I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything I could have done to increase his avoid even further. I don't necessarily think so. We kind of want the Lester Dicers. Let's take a look and see if he could use the Gautier Knights at all. I think so, actually, because currently Lester Dicers is giving me zero avoid, and he kind of needs to be able to hit. Uh, Caspar and Ferdinand died this round. Say something nice about mages. Oh, mage gets the free cast of fire. It's a very accurate spell when you want to do chip damage. It's very good. When you want to do accurate chip damage, not kill the enemy, set up the kill for someone better to like go in and Tempest Lance kill them. Really good. I love I love using mages for that exact purpose, honestly. Nice for injuring enemies so that you can come in with like a Wyvern or an Axe unit, finish them off and get the kill XP. Uh, probably should just use Gautier Knights on Petra instead. You're still taking on Sarah to see how it works for him. Wait, really? Who's this? Okay, let's see if I can get down here. So I'm going to change up my plan a bit because I do want the Gatia Knights on you, or really just any bat with more dodge. Because Saras has something like a 60-ish, 60 to 65-ish percent hit chance on him last time. Um, and so avoid in that like bracket, like avoid in that bracket is actually just huge. Also, what things did I not need? I don't think I needed the Scythe of Serial at any point, right? Yeah, I'll just put that away. Get out an Evasion Ring if I have one. There you go. Petra, honestly, Petra wasn't even doing any combat last time either. Like, I'm pretty sure she can just... I mean, like, somebody needs to stride the slot, though. I think this should be enough, right? Like, you stride the lot. Oh, that's so bad, though. Look at that. You're going to deploy in here really late. Eventually, Yuritsa is going to be the one to kind of, like, get up here and then dive on this kid. But I think you need the Gatia Knights for that extra avoid. Let me just see if there's, like, another plus avoid bat that he could get. I haven't really spoken much about Yuritsa, but it turns out he's kind of good. He just joins with a heap of stats and, like, a lot of skill ranks. Authority, magic back, hit, crit, avoid. Oh, damn it, I skipped avoid. There we go, found it. Yo, Bridget Hunters, question mark? Actually, though. Nah, plus seven attack is, like, kind of good, though. Does Bridget Hunters ever get attack? Do they ever get plus attack? Move it up, ap3h.com. Would you say a voice strats have worked better or worse than your vantage builds in this run? I'd say that like when the vantage builds got online, they definitely worked better, but I wouldn't have gotten to the point where vantage builds were even activated unless I had a void strats. I wouldn't have got past chapter 14 without a void strats. Uh, probably would not have got past turtle paralog without a void strats. Um, let me think what else. Like a lot of the hardest maps, the answer was a void strats. Like there's a reason that I restarted the entire run to get the evasion rings from Grinder. But it's kind of like, you know, for example. All the way through here, right? Kind of sending Edelgard on a tear through this center part of the map. That requires vantage. Going up all the way through here with Byleth and like the Rapier, that requires vantage. Some of the other times when I had Yurisa like going on and killing a bunch of units with like Vantage Wrath and the Turtle Paralog, like I needed vantage for that. 
It's the kind of thing where, like... Vantage Wrath and Avoid, they fill pretty similar roles, right? Except Vantage Wrath is just a little bit stronger at what it does, but it's harder to set up. So you can use Avoid strats on some units to, like, kind of give yourself the breathing room it takes to set them up. Like, when you look at Vantage Wrath strats and you say, oh, well, the weakness is it just takes time to set them up. Or, like, it takes effort to set them up. The immediate next question you should then be asking yourself is, what can I do to make it easy for me to set it up? And if one of those things that you can do is have a bunch of other fighting units with like high avoid straight out the gate ready to fight, that's a good answer for it. That immediately gives you the leeway it does. I'm just saying Dark Pegasus Leone is fun. Dark Pegasus Leone? I've never done Dark Flyer anybody. I'll have to try it one time. Yeah, no, like out of all out of all the routes for dodge tanking to be the answer, I did not expect it to be Crimson Flower. I was like, wait a minute. Mostly it was like looking at the Wyverns in 14 and being like, these guys have only like 115 hit. Like, I can I can stack that out. Okay, I'm gonna look at Bridget Hunters. And I actually do get plus damage. I almost noticed wasn't she doubles. Darkfire is actually S tier class. Is this the time to train up the Bridget Hunters? It's after crit. There's no way it's time to train up the Bridget Hunters, right? I mean, come on. Come on. We got them so late. Like, how are we going... How are we going to get them level up? So there's like four enemies on that side of the map. How are we going to get these guys leveled up? I mean, I guess we could like kill the bottom guy. With Yuritsa, maybe. But like center boy right there? Like that you, you see that that horse. That horse. He's right there. You can see his feet. That guy, he transforms turn one. And like so one of my mages has to kill him with like the freaking um Caduceus thing. Jerry Pizza's not loving much this map. Yeah, no. But having the Gatier Knights on him means that like my stride game is really off. Actually, if you go here and then stride this way, then you're still in an advanced position and you can hit things still. What can Petra do now that she's like on this part of the map? Because, okay, I still like this plan I had over here, right? Where it was like, basically, so what was go, it was go over here, trade the March Ring over, stride this way, Retribution, um, Edelgard goes over here-ish, you know, Byleth kills this person, which by the way, I'm gonna have to reset until this works. And then Leonie goes up and does the trade over to Rapier or whatever. That's my favorite nickname for it. But do you have Desperation or anything? No, 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 you have Brave. Oh, you do have Desperation, but you're not going to proc it on the Swordmaster. He has Quick Repost. I think you don't need Fetters. You just want... Um... Where the hell are you? Constance. By the way, continue the interview. Constance, 10 out of 10. Any questions? Just Meteor the Swordmaster, easy. <laughs> I got Bolting over here, but no, I kind of need Byleth to get like really far in. Question, yes is the answer. Can she be 11 out of 10? Uh, since she's happy, Constance, yeah, I'll give her 11 out of 10. How about that? She get Yeah, she's getting plus damage right now. So with Constance, actually... So she will need fetters at some point. This will never do this warp. Jambo, father and son gaming. Let's go. Thanks so much for the follow. Welcome in. Glad to know you're enjoying the show. I think what I'm going to need to do here is equip fetters and Caduceus. Like, basically, Lysathia is going to have fetters so that she can more easily get to Constance to warp her. In fact, actually, that might be one of the first things I do is, like, immediately... Actually, after I kill this guy, what if I just immediately go up and, like, warp Constance north? Like, up to here. Press Constance so negative, she gets a negative 11 10. Yeah, I think, ne I think Constance will get a negative 11. Uh, yeah, sad Constance will get negative 11 out of 10. She's still a good unit, she just gets negative 11 out of 10. So. But yeah, no, she's good. She's leveled magic. So, she's currently level 37. I picked her up at level 7, so she's earned 30 level ups. And I think she's earned 27 points of magic over those 30 level ups. She's missed magic three times three times she's insanely good 
Look what kind of damage she has. She has freaking black tome fair, guys. She has S plus reason. I literally grinded her up to black tome fair. It's been pretty good. Uh, other units? Who else said this? Oh, Leonie's kind of good. She's a bow knight right now. I don't need the horses layer, do I? No, I don't need the horses layer. Get that weird champ weapon out of here. She just needs a hug. No, not happy Constance. Happy Constance needs, like, actually a, a moment to chill. Oh, I have an extra large bullion, by the way. Um... Do anything here? Which needs a therapy, yes. And tea, okay, yes, tea time would be pretty cool, actually. I'll give her that. I'm like, what do I even give to Leonie now for this extra slot? I don't think anything, really. Like, she's not even fighting a horse. Coffee, tea belongs in the harbor. Yo, true, though. Uh, who else here, unit review? I might as well continue on here. Uh, Yuri, I had originally planned for Yuri to be my like hard carry early game. And to be fair, he did, because what Yuri gets that a lot of other units don't is, like, immediate access to see authority, which let him use the Empire Knights early on. Really good. A personal that's really, that's, like, a lot of damage, actually. It really complements his speed. And also his really high base strength, too. Like, don't forget, Yuri has really, really good base strength. Therapeutic tea time? Exactly. Yeah, no, Yuri's, like... Yuri, Yuri's, like... I, okay... Whenever I, like, am sorting the units by, like, power and whatnot, honest to god, Yuri's so good, I want to count him as a lord. When people are like, what's the best non-lord? I, I, like, have difficulty saying Yuri, because, like, technically lore-wise, he's a lord. Yo, Vesa89 with the sub. <laughs> Dude, thanks so much. Vesa89, is this sub for one month? Let's go. A new sub. Hey, Vesa, enjoy the F reviewing and enjoy the emotes. You got a flame squish now. All characters as you if you're good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the thing is with characters in three houses is like one of the golden rules of Fire Emblem, and especially of Fire Emblem Three Houses, is that no character is actually like bad, bad. Every single character you can find advantageous situations to put them in. And if you consistently put them in advantageous situations, they will get stronger. Yeah, but coffee excites while tea calms. Oh true. Well, this is what you're seeing right now is the result of um coffee constants, so. Yo, Constance base for drinking coffee, by the way. Top tier. Oh, he's actually really close to using Brave Bow. Yeah, we should try to have him like fire a bow once or twice this map. He can definitely do it. He's in an assassin, man. Come on. But yeah, no, Yuri's super strong. I had originally planned for him to be like a super duper hyper carry. In early game, like high speed. High speed, high strength. Good physical stats from the Empire Knights that I wanted to put on him early. That was my original plan for Yuri. Except this woman. <laughs> This woman, boy, she showed him up. All through early game, she was getting plus fives, plus sixes, strength, speed. Like, we talk about how Constance didn't miss a magic level up. She didn't miss a single speed level up for ages. She was like, I got her to, like, one of my original plans was like, crap, I got to get a unit with high speed in order to actually steal the evasion rings and Grandir. Petra was the one to do it. She just kept getting speed. I'm like, oh, shit, I can actually get speed plus two on this unit. Does Petra count as a lord since she's literally a princess? Yo, facts? Facts, though? Redux is spitting, guys. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, she was, like, insanely good. Like, just kept on leveling straight. Now, to be fair... <laughs> See, it stands for Chaco Finale. What's up? Yeah, exactly. Now, to be fair, like, since then, she's kind of fallen off a bit. Like, I don't think she's leveled strength. At all. <laughs> Like, at all. She's leveled strength three times out of 11. It's It's been, like, kind of bad. But, you know what? She's still fine. She still has stealth. Right? If you give her a good bat with some plus might, she'll be doing fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Lester Dicer is, like, the entirely wrong gambit. Or the entirely wrong battalion to have given Yuritsa. I think, um... Whatever I have on him now is going to work much better. It's kind of weird, though. I don't really know what to do with this unit now. It's all wasteland, so this square and this square are equivalent. Sadly, I hate coffee. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. You don't. If you don't like it, you shouldn't drink it. It's true. I also hate coffee. Oh, monk guess. Like I really don't know what to do with this, but like with this unit, at least Yuri can cast like Retribution today. Whereas Petra is just kind of like a weird champ attacking unit. 
I guess she could like maybe offer linked attacks on Saros. When Saros spawns. You know what? Let's just get in there. Let's just get in there, yeah? Is in like ate the powder? Here you are, it's not powder, it's like beans. At your <laughs> eternal resting yeah, grounds. Grounds, I guess? You have trampled and stolen and blinded yourself to the truth. All right. Today, I will have vengeance for all you have done. With this battle, the main force of the kingdom will be annihilated. Do you mean drink Kana? I don't drink Kana, no. Seems you're a redux. You can put ground coffee beans into cooking. True. Leave no enemy general alive. All right. We are uncertain of the enemy's plans. Why not? Well done. A lot of these moves right out the gate are pretty much like going to be the same every time. Thank you. What's my strategy? But this is the first one that actually actually requires risk. If this messes up, I just reset. I just reset. It's that easy. Okay, it works. So we're fine. It won't be in vain. For the Empire. Okay, we equip the march ring. Reason is we want to get to this square. This square is in range of some extra people. Have the accuracy ring out and the devil axe. Now we want to use the devil axe. We have battalion vantage on. We're going to kill these mages. We're going to like turbo pwn them right out the gate. But we still want to get injured to get into Wrath Range. It looks like we need to take four Devil Axe attacks in order for it to work. My orders? Okay, you need to dismount because you actually move further when you're dismounted over this hard terrain. And give her an advanced position. Switch Byleth over to the Rapier. Last time using the Eleven Sword because I was like, I want to counterattack them at range. And then I, it's like I completely forgot, dude, I have Retribution active. Not even regular Pwn, Turbo Pwn. That's right, exactly. Okay, and then what else? Manuela. Yeah, let's actually deal with this group first. So, first off, we want to stride the lot. Okay. And let's get as far advanced as we can. Oh, this is Wasteland. Oh, it's all Wasteland. Fair enough. Not T guy, I just also hate T. Yo, you and Duck have stuff in common. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm really kidding there, guys. Like, take a look at this, right? I'm pretty sure, honestly. Like, once we silence this lad. Frappes, though. Oh, I don't like that sugary stuff. I'll be real. Oh, my, my contact lens. Crap. I'm good, guys. Don't worry about it. Our contact lens just, like, unseated itself. That was pretty weird. Okay, my wallet does need to go right, and I need to have this square open for Lysithia. So she needs to not go there. Silence this person. And look at that. Look at all these holes in their defenses. Actually, I think if I warp Constance straight away, then Dudu's going to transform. So I need to, like, chill out on that, right? When he's fire, when he's sagity, and when he's fire here. Fire is just fast enough. How are you dealing with Dudu? What setting will you create for Dimitri? <laughs> um, Dudu, I am going to warp Constance in there and have Constance just like Omega pwn him. But Constance can get him from a distance, I know. Okay, so actually, I don't really know. There's like a range where if you put a unit there, then Dudu will uh, transform. I don't actually know the range. But one thing that I can do is just... Put Constance exactly far on <laughs> He's on her to-do list, exactly. Yeah. So no Dudu transformation? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna let Dudu transform. That's the plan at least. Oh shit. Um That was a mistake. Hey, what's up, Lemon? It's turn one. I used to pulse turn one. Let's just go ahead and reset it. Like never pulse turn one. There's like a box around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know how big that box is.
and you get in his monster range. Kind of late, but here we are to kick that lizard butt. True. True. I hope. But yeah, no, don't, pull, don't pulse turn one. I can totally wait until turn two for the warp. Because I can also just like warp further in too. By the way, turn six. That's what I need to do. Say something nice about carbonated water. Oh god, you've given me a real challenge. Oh my god. Um, you know, most of the time carbonated water is like pretty safe to drink, right? Like, there's never. I don't think there's ever an issue with like food safety as far as carbon water is concerned. You know. So if you're in an area where like the water is kind of dubious, you can usually pretty safely drink the carbonated stuff. We're dodging fourth best girl Saros. Yeah, we gotta dodge Saros eventually. Is Edelgard a sniper? Nah, she's a warrior. Edelgard is a threat. No, she's Patrick. True. We are uncertain. Why not? It's like I said, it's turn one. Golden rule of three houses. Never ever pulse on turn one. Thanks. Never ever. Just reset, well bro. I'm in. Thank you. There's no stopping me. What's my strategy? Come on. No B hops, exactly. Never ever. Never ever pulse on turn one. A threat to freedom everywhere, Monka S. Yo, doubling Lorenz in chapter one? Since when? I just saw, I just actually read this tutorial, bro. We're doubling Lorenz in chapter one. Sheesh. Today I learned I am the devil. You take damage every time you attack. We are uncertain. Why not? Much needed. I'm in. Appreciate it. Well done. What's my strategy? Come on. You got it. Please crit. Or something. Bro. What about turn pulsing and draft race? In draft race, it's fine. No, I randomly die. Don't I try to hit my alarm clock in the morning? Yeah, that too. Before anyone asks, no, we can't give by the accuracy ring. If I'd stolen the other accuracy ring, we would have been able to do it. Also, no, we can't give Byleth a different bat. It has to be this battalion. If I'd remembered to steal Hilda's accuracy ring, I would, but I think... I can't remember what I did to um, Happy. I think I just, like, shit her critter. We are uncertain. Why not? Oh, yeah, no, Byleth, like, just... Wait, wrong one. Thanks. Thank you. What's my strategy? I'm in. Thanks. Yeah, but let's just hit her with a crit. My I think. Yeah, we should put Bravesword at the top of the list. Bro, I'm gonna put Bravesword at the top of the list. Also, because that Swordmaster didn't like immediately go into his counterattack animation, that means he was critting. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's put the Bravesword at the top. That way I can just like immediately walk up and just bam. Less menuing for me to do. I do the menuing to avoid the menuing. Yeah, the old draft race strat for this with like lords and whatnot would literally die. Like, you would actually just have to reset if something went wrong. Why the enemy swordmasters crit so high? Because they're swordmasters. We are. Why not? Thanks. Thank you. I'm in. Thanks. Much needed. What's my strategy? Come on. Good. This could turn the tides. Okay. Let's make this quick. Understood. Apologies. All right, let's get in there. My orders. For the Empire. 
Guess what I forgot to do. If only I could do emulator save saves for this stuff, that's fine. What does this low sword master that can't crit look like? Uh, probably like Byleth and Enlightened one. GG Raisin, that's right. <laughs> I got wrecked. No March Ring, no. Can't believe I let that happen. Don't worry, we'll get it right eventually. We are on. Why not? Did the trick. Let's be more Thank careful. You. I'm in. Thanks. Much needed. What's my strategy? See you, chat. Got to bounce. Have a good stream. See you around, duck. All is going to it's good to have you in. My orders? We need to go south, I think, right? Yeah. Because east, this person can hit uh, Leone. We wanted to go to Ed we wanted to go to Edelgard. So Leone actually has to go south here. See ya. Bye, duck. Bye, duck. Understood. Apologies. And to mark this guy's range. God, I really, I would really like to uh, jump into Dudu's range or um, range where I can attack Dudu next turn, though. If I do that, however, I'm gonna get wrecked by Dark Mages because my res is actually not that high. 31, 48. Yeah, they're doing 17 to me. Oh my god, and they're doubling. Okay, yeah, I should probably wait for the Dudu kill then. Let's make this quick. One thing I can do is just immediately walk up and trade over the fetters, though. Yeah, she would actually get kind of wrecked if I just warped her straight in. Like, especially if I warped her here. Dudu would definitely transform if I warped her there. There's no stopping me. Last time I made a mistake moving her in too far. This time I won't do this. Be moderate with your Manuela. Wait, there we go. Right there. And we're good to go. Finally, turn one worked. Manuela paw. Yo, Manuela trickster. I never went over her. But Manuela was like, I'll just get her. She has Rally Charm. She might replace Dorothea in that regard. Dorothea's Rally Charm. Top tier. That literally held my entire strat together was Rally Charm. Oh shit. I must lead them well. I do not tolerate obstacles. To kill. Oh, I forgot to equip accuracy ring here. I don't think I got punished for it, but I should have equipped the accuracy ring. That was the right thing to do. Oh crap, I forgot to, um... Wait, do more Falcon Knights spawn? I forgot you need to, like, skip this guy's dialogue to make them not spawn, but I actually wonder if, um, they'll spawn this time. Like, I totally forgot there was a trigger there where you have to skip this guy's dialogue. Like, literally, when this guy's dialogue starts, you, like, mash the start button. And there's a bug where these guys don't spawn, but now I wonder if they're just, like... The same spawns that normally show up. Except this time they're like on my face. As opposed to being on the other enemy face. Can you be extra cool and kill Mercedes with Yuritsa? Like, I wish I could. But the plan right now is actually like really tight as far as turn count goes. And Yuritsa has to be the one over here fighting this person. If it was convenient for me to do so, believe me, I would, but like, I, I actually just don't have the means to do it. How much move you got? Seven? So if I position you one tile out of range and over grasslands, then you can definitely just swoop in there and do it. So after this, I'll have one, two, six, seven, eight. 
Yep, look at that. That can do that. Nice. And I know that you actually just one round with Spear of a Shawl. As long as I don't get, like, wrecked by a crit on the counter. But you have Gatia Knights. Who knows? Do you have Lance Breaker? Oh, of course you do. And hit plus 20. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. I'm not avoiding him. He has hit plus 20, bro. Yeah, 142 hit and Lance Breaker. Yeah, I'm not dodging that. Could I be extra cruel? Wish I could. It's true. Anyway, so Happy and Yuri need to move up. What's the play here? So at the moment, Violet needs to connect with these Armor Knights. I hope that more Pegasi don't spawn. No quote found. What stream elements has that command? I didn't realize. Oh boy. What if I should just like let him run at me? There are the quotes commands. Yeah, I had it turned off, but I could look around just see if I could enable it somehow. Okay, so what do I need to do? All in this turn. Violet needs to get in position to kill these guys. And in position to not get hit by these guys. Leone and Yuri need to move up far enough that they can, like, contribute against these Pegasi. I'm probably gonna have to, like, Grounder kill one of them and then, like, use Leone. I, like, probably Grounder plus Yuri can kill one of them and then, like, Leone can kill the other. The only range over here can probably just kill a mage from like two or three range. Her move, her move range is actually just like giant right now. It's like six as a foot unit, bro. She has six range as a foot unit. Let's turn this off, by the way. I guess I could like go here. I know, right? She can move. But I know these girls like to go east before they go south. I think that's actually fine. Okay. We can use Desperation to just like turbo kill them. Right from there, I think so, yes. I don't have Sacred Power equipped this time, by the way. Desperation didn't even proc, didn't need to though. I'm gonna hit this person with a Silence one more time. Do I point blank volley here? I think I do. I can just point blank volley Iron Bow. Silence can't miss this guy anyway. Even when Silence misses, it actually hits. Oh, let's equip uh, Accuracy Ring, by the way. Seems like a wise thing to finally do. Wait, what? Yeah, Silence never misses. Wait, you just... Oh my god, you Crest of Flames! Oh my god, stop Crest of Flames. Stop doing it. I hate Crest of Flames sometimes. Okay. And the reason I'm warping her in so deep is because... Constance needs to go up here and kill to do some of these other guys too. And she needs to GTFO and get back to the south as quick as she possibly can. You will never understand the it's, I mean, like, a bug, a glitch, whatever. No, it actually, no, it literally never misses. Even if it has the miss animation, it actually still silences them. Okay. Torch is listed as one to range light magic. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it was, like, cut content. I don't know what happens if you, um, like, hit the Sword Masters right now. I know that this guy activates first. Uh. Alright, and then these guys need to move up. You're still attacking Yuri. Oh, yeah, because stealth. I'm like, why aren't you attacking Yuri? Stealth, duh. Petra, I think, is fine where she is right now. But let's move her up. Like, this technically has more stuff av available to her. This square does. It's a leather shield. 
Okay, so apparently this is just the same Pegasi who would spawn anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, he had Cadmoss shield, right? That's why. I was like, why am I doing, like, no damage to this guy? I was like, yeah, Cadmoss stuff. So Vanistrat's kind of working well, I'm just saying. Okay. I don't know whether to hit this guy or hit this guy. Because I can't do Bofa. And Edelgard freaking healed, so... Of course Edelgard had to heal. Hate her. We also need to take out these idiots. All being disappointing. I know. can't believe she healed. I guess I could hit this person with Byleth, right? Not really. Actually, I could. If I go... Hmm... Nah. By the way, someone's going to take this mage. It's probably going to be Edelgard, right? It's not having full HP. No, 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 no. Like... I want her to be injured. She keeps procking Crest of Flames. <laughs> Stop procking your Crest. Okay, just don't get it by this 18% crit, I guess. Right? Let's do this first. It has, like, the highest chance of failure. There's no, like, combat art I can use here, yeah? Nope. Just plain I'll hit them with the Spirit of Shawl. If I use, like, Warp from Lysithia, then maybe, or, like, put Lysithia here, maybe I could, like, stack it up. Like, I could cast a Dark Spikes first and then go in here. Maybe that's what I should do. I don't have to actually pull the trigger over here until turn 6. I do have to kill this guy somewhat early, though. Yeah, I don't think if I do turn 4, turn 5, I gotta kill this guy and get into position. No, that's too much. Let's just do this and then have my units kill the Swordmaster. Crap, dude. We're actually, like, a bit late on that. Let's just kill him. Just don't get crit, Lamel. We're good. Okay. And then we gotta kill this guy. I don't know if attacking him with a bow, like, sets him off. So I'm just gonna not attack him with a bow for now. Probably going to be some kind of like spell plus Yuritsa. I'm not going to kill this guy though. He would transform on turn six. Yuritsa doing Yuritsa thing. Not Sylvain Bros. He got too cocky. That's right. Got too cocky. I don't think I can attack him straight away, right? Someone let me know. If anybody knows, let me know. Also, I got to pee. So give me a sec.
The door! The door! And the potential beast doesn't aggro if you hit them. They will hit you at orange and make this you're Jason. Thanks, Strawbellicle. That's what I need to know. Boop. Swoop. Not attacking unless you can kill is probably the correct play. Okay. The Tribalical says they just so they just sit. They just chill out. They're just big chilling. Is what you're telling me? I said them with steel bows then. Why not mock lethality? <laughs> Imagine getting that though. Lethality and assassinate? That'd be so sick. Okay, now these guys. We got these six normies up here. They're not normies. They're actually like by far the most goaded units in my entire army, these six. <laughs> and we got to find a way to take out all this while like not turbo dying to this Pegasus, to this Falcon Knight rather. Okay, so first off, let's mark, let's mark this Falcon Knight's range. Because Byleth has to be out of this. I could go here. And then we hit them at two range with like Sublime Creator Sword. And then you point blank volley with something. And this could be the turn where I aim here. You have Swordbreaker? Or Axebreaker? Of course you do. Uh, what kind of hit rate are we seeing with Amir? That's not great. What turn is it to? Turn three? Okay, so turn four, we could do this and go here. And then turn five, we could go here. And then turn six, we have an extra warp we can use to put Constance in range to attack in melee, or attack in close. Which is my goal here. I want to hit Raya with something, dodge the counter attack. Yeah, Dudu's dead. I got him last turn. I still have six pulses too, so if I need to rig RNG, I can totally do it. I don't have any silences left, and I've already moved this whole group, so killing this person is a is a must. I actually can't leave them alive. And <laughs> these guys' damage really fell off. Holy shit. They cannot deal any damage right now. Why? You have 29 prot. How much defense is this? To okay, so 30 prot, right? I mean, I guess, like, no fair. Good god. This is not amazing. <laughs> Fun playing Bali Bow of Zoltan? I think so, right? Did dead. Okay. I think this is part of it, right? I gotta I gotta hit this. So like getting as much accuracy as I can get, well in my favor. I should probably even move up you. Thankfully, the Garrick Mox Swordmaster is an enemy right now. Oh god, could you imagine? So I feel like I gotta kill this Swordmaster. I don't know if this guy transforms this turn or not. Also, I don't know if this Pegasus Knight would go for um, Edelgard if given the chance. 43 Prot. Something tells me she would rather go for Leone. <laughs> yeah, no. That woman is insanely good. Yeah, the wannabe Catherine. Is it normally Catherine? Or is it like... So I could move Yuri up to boost the hit rate. Because if I miss, that's pretty tragic. It is Catherine? Okay. If I miss this, it's pretty tragic. And Yuri coming up here would be plus like 10 to the hit rate, I think. Let me, let me check. How much, it, how much is a beast support worth? It was 79... Only plus 7 to the hit rate? I mean, plus 7 is still a lot. Like, 79 to whatever it is. It's a lot of hit rate. 79 plus 7, 79 to 86, that's a ton. That, like, really closes it down. Then it puts Yuri in range of this person. Ooh, you might just actually kill Yuri, though. Like, think about it. Wait, hold on a minute. 32 attack speed? 40 attack speed. 
with a bow though. Hold on, 52 avoid. This ain't looking good. Plus it's two right, so it's more than 7%. It's actually less than 7% because it's between, um, it's less than 7 percentage points of true hit because it's between 75 and 100. Like 2RN, this hit rate right now is, um, what's this? It's somewhere around like 91 point seven or eight. No, no, a bit under that. Somewhere around like 91.4 ish. And then 87 would be 169 times two, 340, 96.6. No, 90, yeah, 96.6. Yes, yeah, so it's like 91 ish, and then after that, it's like 96.73. So it's only it's actually only five points, but you got it. No, you're right that like it is higher than I think. But I still like to bump this up. Do you do you die to though to the Pegasus Knight? That's the real question. Because if Yuri dies to the Pegasus Knight, then I actually can't make that move. It's okay, like a lot of people don't know to around. <laughs> or they know it well enough to function. But in a situation like this. Knowing exactly what you're getting into is going to be useful. First off, if they attack, if they attack Edelgard, how much damage are they actually doing? Because I assume you would want to attack Leone. What I understand is that it's a W. Not a guaranteed, it's like 96-ish. Let's just go for it. Or 91-ish. Right, but a 100% W. Yo, true. Let's go here. Okay, and then I think what we can do is a mere bonk this person. And then immediately run up and bonk this guy. You've got to go down. I just gotta hope, maybe, that this guy doesn't turn into a monster. We gotta use fighters to then Kanto down in such a way that we can attack them next. We don't take L's in this house, so we take, like, Scythius. And go there and then go, and then go there. First off, how much damage do you actually deal? We met a lot of Scythias and Leonis. Okay, fair, fair, fair. We can honestly also like Raging Storm, Raging Storm, and then go back and then like try to hit this guy with something else, right? How much Raging Storm do we need up here? Not, not much. We don't need much Raging Storm really to succeed. Do I have a shield? I can get a shield over here for like taking less damage here. I do remember she survived the Falconite last time because 54 minus 31 is 23. Times two, she lives. Especially Lawrence's, yo, true. Okay, mostly Leonis though. Do I need the shield? I think I do want the shield. I could even do Cadmos shield. What I want to mount up here. This is it's like all wasteland. There's no way mounting is the correct play. Do I get extra defense if I mount? No, I don't. I don't I don't even get extra defense from mounting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dan, I'll run. Can't quickly cycle what you can use for press divine pulse. You can use R. You can use R to do it still. Or try to move left. You keep on trying to ban letters of the alphabet. There we go. And then Leone totally survives. That's awesome. Yuri would die if I put him there, so let me not do that. Can we get some extra bow rank here? I want to. I would want to ensure, however. So on, let, let's actually move out of guard up and see who they go for. Okay, so one of them is still going for Leone. Who moves first between the two of them? The Falcon Knight or the um? Oh, so the Pegasus Knight actually moves first. So the Pegasus Knight moves and damages Edelgar, then the Falcon Knight might change her target. Ban the alphabet, the whole thing. 
Is it even possible to do whole runs without ever turning left? I feel like chapter two would be tri pretty tricky. Actually, if you do chapter two and just go straight up, you could probably get in Costas range. Grander, Grander you could do, because you just go down on them, right? That's night chapter, and so like, hold up. Chapter, chapter one, you could do, because if you just go straight north and the enemies eventually move towards you in aggro. Chapter two, you could maybe get in Costas range. Oh, chapter three, Lenato map. There's no way you could beat Lenato map. Because Catherine doesn't actually attack Lenato. Yeah, Lemon figured it out, Ben. <laughs> Just use number keys. Like, there's literally no reason. Actually, we can unlock um, that lethality. The shitter lethality unlock. Let's do the maths here. If you actually attack Edelgard, that's 7 times 2 damage, so 14. It's actually really good, too. I can just use Killer Axe against this guy, right? There's probably a way. I could use Smash Killer Axe. That's an 81% crit chance. I think we go for it, right? If we need to burn our ends, we can. Is this not even in range of the Pegasus to begin with? Wow. That's actually really sick. We have to go for it one way or another. Let's just go. My ambitions are within reach. Yo, plus dex, plus luck. That's huge, actually. That's literally every stat she needs. This is a channel of rules as written. Raisins. It's a given. <laughs> Ban camera rotation. Um, I think I can physic Violet here. Thank you. It's not written. It's not a rule. True. Oh, shit. Here come more Pegasi. It was actually really bad. I don't remember these Pegasi being so rapid. Still far these Pegasi didn't come out so rapidly, right? There was not this many Pegasi last time. It was every other turn. This is every turn. Yeah, because turn two, enemy phase. Well, turn two, they were here. And now they're here again. Wait a minute. This is different. I might have to reset and actually do the skip. They didn't move the turn they showed up, so it's every other turn? Okay. Shit. I do remember them appearing on turn 5. Actually, yeah, because turn 5, enemy phase, they appeared. So there's not going to be any on this turn 4. So to speak. Trabalco says every other turn. I feel like I had them on different turns, though. Last time, I think I got them to spawn on turn two enemy phase, which meant the next group was turn four. Yeah, yeah this is this is slightly different. Anything with 55 or more attack. Oh, well, Dark Spikes, it turns out. I've got no time for mercy. And you have fetters equipped right now, right? Yeah, that's five move, right? Yeah, you do have fetters. 
We can just check item menu. Yeah, now skipping the first one is actually like... Because now these Pegasus are coming up a turn earlier. Which means Mercedes moved. It's just a box of shoal. It's not like the shoals end sooner on one side than on the other. And these ladies are just like completely dodging everything too. Maybe one of these girls can get in wrath range. Can help me get in wrath range maybe? This is really rough. Good. Who has the stride? You have the healing staff equipped, right? Okay. My orders? Let's just start with that. I think that's gonna be the right play. Oh crap, that's like not much hit rate. Curve shot bow of Zoltan? That like pains me to do, but I might have to do it. Did you level defense a moment ago? I think you did. Raphael, <laughs> yes. The Ninja Turtle. Missed that guy. He was like kind of cool. You can place Elder Guard not in Mercedes range, set up the Wrath and Kill all Fires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my plan here. It's just like, deal with this guy first, right? In a way that's not in range of these idiots. My, my plan was like something like this. One other thing I wanted to make sure of though is that Edelgard would be not so far away that I could hit her with a stride sometime soon. So this is turn four. Because Edelgard needs to be hit with a stride on turn six. That's when I need to pull the trigger on all that. Turn six player phase is when I need to end the map. Did I get assassinated on you yet? No, let's go ahead and do it. That's fine, we get assassinate. Because so turn six player phase, turn six enemy phase at the start is when this guy transforms. So currently I'm at turn four. Constance can go over here, rendezvous with Lysithia. Lysithia will eventually be able to warp Constance over here. Like So turn five is Constance move, Lysithia rendezvous. And then turn six by your phase is Lysithia is going to warp Constance down here in order to like pwn Saros. After Yuritsa hits her and doesn't get hit on the counter. Doesn't get hit on the counter. I also need to at some point put Byleth in range of Mercedes. That has to happen at some point. You don't have any more warps. You got one actually. You're right, so Lysithia doesn't. It's gonna have to be Mumbala then. I mean, but you still have five points of move. And then Manuela's, what, four warp range? Is it from the caster? Or f I, I know I ask this literally every time. Is warp from the caster or from the target? And then fighters, you can, I mean, you can definitely hit it though, so you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Okay, yeah, it's from the caster. I mean, you go here and then Constance still has her move, so she can just walk, walk in the forest and smack her. Also, she has black magic range plus one and Caduceus. Like, something something weird could happen if a Pegasus Knight gets injured but not killed. Because then Mercedes could displace herself in an inconvenient manner. Let's focus on this um, Falcon Knight first, though. I'm pretty sure I have Mithril, right? Just curve shot bow of Zoltan. What if I actually go here? I 
I think this is actually pretty much fine. Like, Mercedes will move last, so, you know, just deal with it. Oh, I should have equipped, like, better shields and whatnot. I could have saved some bat endurance on Mockingbird. GB8 is from the target. Okay. And, of course, Happy and Yuri and them need to... No, actually, I wonder if I can steal the March Ring. And then stride from a little bit further out. I can stride from a little bit further out if I, like, take the March Ring and then I eventually give it to Happy. Again, like, weird things will happen if I fail to kill some Pegasi. Don't need the rapier on you anymore, Yuri. And the map isn't going to last that much longer anyway, so there's no point in, like, conserving the retribution. Wow. Let's get them as far over here as I can. Hopefully some of these idiots can like help me proc. Help me get into Wrath Range. We just crest of flames up to full. <laughs> Bruh. To kill. What's Wrath, precious? <laughs> Your death is not in vain. Let's keep up the pace. Good news is, if she had Vantage Wrath actually activated, it would be 100-100. Oh, hold on, we Pavist? Shit, bro. That's okay, they can just walk up and bop her. Right, pretty sure we can. She has counter or no? No, she just has white magic range plus one. Okay, that makes sense. And crit immune. <laughs> uh, should her crit? Should her hit? I think we can do it, right? We can go for it. Here we go. Come on. Second go. Let's use Brave Sword. Actually, no, we can't use Brave Sword. But we're in support range now, so. So if Fettelguard has March Ring, we can actually do it. She can actually... Uh, Happy can stride from, like, a lot of places right now. Just finished watching another face apart and realized they're streaming. What's up? Desperation to get past the miracle? Let's go. Hello, that's like, what's up? How's it going, Kirby Master? Okay, let's set up the stride. Turns out I didn't need March Ring after all. How's it going, Kirby Master? Hope your day is going better than mine. With an Edelgard who won't freaking get injured, bro. And we can hit Saros from there. Should have given her the Cursed Sword. I gave her the Devil Axe! <laughs> I gave her the Devil Axe, Kirby Master. 
She still couldn't do it. <laughs> Oh crap, the Pegasi just don't spawn, I guess, huh? Alright. This has to be the turn. There's no stopping the Crest of Flames, exactly. So I don't have much to off which to like manipulate the RNG. Except like changing the number of raging storm hits I do. That's basically the only way I can manipulate RNG here. This is the best odds I got. Must, must I will. You can't stop it. No. Seventy six crit, it's faded. It's faded. I guess I could have Byleth, like, attack a monster or something if I need to burn some RNs. Alright, I need to not get hit here. I think it was, what, Lance of Ruin on her? Oh, that's so much better. Holy shit. 27 hit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I switched out to Evasion Ring and Gatia Knights. This is a huge difference already. That death Brave Lance. I don't think he quads with Brave Lance though. He just doubles. Just an ordinary double. Oh wow, yeah, totally fine. I got it. I think I'm pretty sure I got it. I just have to dodge this attack. Right, so 22 down to 50, and then how much do you deal? 37. Okay, we gotta find a way to actually deal more damage then. Hmm. How much damage can she deal? With Agnia's arrow, 50 at an 87% hit rate. Sagittee, 41. Boo! Constance, you read that? Oh, they linked attack, actually? Hmm, that's pretty good. It's got it. Hold on, it's got to be with Lance of Ruin. Let's check my arts, right? No, 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 no. Okay, ZR. Shatter Slash. Glowing Ember. Glowing Ember, I feel like, is the best here. Yeah, it gives me some of extra void, too. Look at that. Glowing Ember for the extra void. It's got to be that, right? This is minimalist, lol. Good bolting first. Oh, true, 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 true. It's got to be glowing ember lance of ruin, right? There you go. Hundred percent hit. Oh, and some extra avoid even. So you get plus three hit avoid with zero support. Exactly. They have a B support. That's that's like pretty good, right? And like that's also the most damage I can deal. Because there's night kneeler, there's shatter slash, there's glowing ember, and it's hundred and twenty. Yeah, it's, it's got to be shatter slash. You are or whatever it is. Whatever this art is, I have selected. Glowing Ember. Nice. 8%, 8.2. Wait, is she in Vantage range? No, she's not in Vantage range. Because 40 is more than 27, which is what I don't. she have Miracle? No, she doesn't have Miracle. Oh, we can just... Wow, that was with the uh, fucking avoid minus 20 thing she's got. Anything else we can do to be greedy here? We can be greedy, right? Nah, let's not be greedy. Those chests, we don't... We're not... We're out of range for him. We, we can't get Brave Bow or Brave Axe. I mean, like, we have Inexhaustible and another Brave Axe, so, like, not too upset about that. We have a Rapier? Question mark. You dealt 32, but your point remains. Yeah, I, I didn't deal 40 damage. And if I didn't deal 40 damage, then that means she's under half. I wanted Yuri to get enough bow rank to wield what's what's it called, but like, I mean, he can get that sometime next map, too. Timotheus Magi? What if we try to gambit this? Oh, Lamal. You know, we're repairing Raging Storm anyway, right? Oh, no, we can't use it. 
We could Dark Spikes kill. We could Dark Spikes dream of killing. Let's just end the map, bro. Yeah, let's go, chapter 17. I can't break the whole barrier. Because Petra's uh, Gambit is Onslaught. Let's go. Easy. Route of the map. Yeah, route of the map. Yo, chapter 18. Huge. More Raging Storm. I used um I used Smash Killer X to kill the dude. I didn't use that Raging Storm. Stop calling me that. Sweet. So Edelgard didn't have a turn anymore. Because I I use Smash Killer X. You know what you want to. I could go back, but that would like change the RN. At that point, come on, just just get out. Just get out. Right? We could be we could be greedy or we could so just get out. Right? Like, come on. Time the best song in video game history. No true. Yeah, I have a Gartham to fix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, for this one. This song is garbage. What, the preps music or the chapter music? I actually I like them both. Members of the Church of Saros. Reminds me of all the ones I've lost to Dimitri not hitting 44 strength. <laughs> Curry Master is scarred. I'm going to refill my water. This one. Strike one for Kirby, lol. Exactly. You getting post Crimson Flower speedruns. This map sucks. Do you one turn it or do you two turn it? Draft race with Lords with two turn. Okay, do we bring any extras? Yo, hold on. Do we get it? We get two extra units on this map. Let's go. Dude, this is sick. All right, what's the plan? Oh, he's got nice Lucero, Slamal. What a chub. Kingdom Snipers. Oh, it's fake Ash. This guy moves. You gotta be careful. Oh, shit. It's our girl. Crusher. Magic weapon. 72 attack. Bro, she's a warlock. <laughs> with an axe. And now with hit plus 20. She has hit plus 20. I've actually never seen these skills. Yeah, I've never seen these units on Maddening. Black magic uses times 2 and black tone fair because warlocks. It makes sense. Seal speed. Oh, shit. Don't get crushed. I know she has steel speed, just in case you survive. <laughs> just in case you survive this 72 magic attack. Nice casual. Oh, just a random black magic range plus one. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's the purple one. Who's this? Yo, is this supposed to be her dad? You know? Uh, what's this? No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm so stupid. Her dad's over here. Her uncle. It's like her uncle, right? Blue lion knights? Nah. I'm kidding. It's just a person. Kingdom magic users. It's fake ash move. Fake ash moves. You can have an Annette attack Gilbert and they have dialogue. Oh, like if you recruited Annette to your side, you can have her attack. Yeah. This is the heartbreak route. Yo, there's a chest back here. What's on the chest? I'm li I've literally never unlocked this before. Player Gilbert attacking Annette. It's only possible on the Azure Moon route that was cut. What if you like recruited a net to your side here and then had a net attack Gilbert? Good old Thunderbrand. Let's get Thunderbrand, bro. That'd be sick. Imagine if we got Thunderbrand. We could miss, just like Catherine. This person only has 136 hit. Yo, 56 speed, though. That's actually kind of silly. Sword of Void plus 20. There are voice lines for Gilbert. Seal move on fake Ash. He has it in normal mode. He does have seal move. It's just move minus one, though. It's not like we're getting hit by a Banshee or some shit. Yo, this guy apparently is actually horrifying, too. Holy shit. Keen Intuition. Axe Crit. Axe Avoid. What the hell? Bro, what am I going to... Oh, oh. 30, 34 Charm, actually. Cyril doesn't move in normal mode. So I talked about this map a bit with Wrong House. And I was like, do we just go up the right side? Because I don't know if we have the strength to just push directly at the center. Yo, it's a good unit, that's right. So we actually have a lot of endurance left on these guys. Again, I was kind of an idiot for not equipping like a shield and pure water against Mercedes, so I think we lost some extra endurance on these guys. Cyril does move on normal mode if you attack him. Fair, fair. Like, how do you kill this guy, bro? He's got like 30. He's got 76 HP. This guy's insane! 
Angry Bot basically just punched him, bro. Like, this guy's nuts. What do you do? He has 43 AS with a Brave Axe. He's gonna quad you. What the hell? Damn, this guy's nuts. How much of what 88 avoid, bro? Bro, I mean, I guess like if you have Axe Breaker. Do we want Sword Breaker anywhere for this woman, maybe? Hundred eighteen avoided range. We're coming up on Petra numbers here. Where are my Varley archers? I feel like going up the center is not going to be my best option. If I go up the right, I get Thunderbrand. How good is that actually? Thirteen seventy ten and seven weight compared to a Brave Sword. How much attack speed do you have? Thirty one attack speed. With the speed ring, actually, you can quad with Bat Desp. Raging Storm, go burn, ram, one turn. Okay, but like, that's easier said than done, Plaque Master. If you use the wall gambit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna use wall gambit to bait him out. Like, yes, I will Raging Storm some of Rhea's health bars. Yeah, yeah, just bring HP zero. Come on. Fine. I, I honestly, I should have thought of that. I do have wall for zero, yeah. But then, like, wall is only half the battle. I survive his attack, and then what? Like, and then what, you know? She's got so much range, too. One to five? Holy crap. Silence? Oh, crap. Only 32 res. Sublime Heaven, yeah, Sublime Heaven, Gambit. Oh, 49 Charm, actually. I don't know if you can hit that with a Gambit. Even with Rally Charm, holy shit. Giant Wings. If you go up center, you get Pegasus Knight Reinforcements if you kill Gilbert or Fake Ash 3, I believe. Okay. Let me refill my water while I think about it. If you could repair battalions only some of the way. Well, five Raging Storm crits kill. Let's take a look. Normally you have like 15-ish percent crit. Everything looks good. 
Bro, my mouse. I have to get two in a row to one turn. <laughs> she has sacred powers still. Okay. <sighs> Giant wings is like kind of rough too right away. We could use happy. If we could hit, if we hit something with happy, we should be good. Happy may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Is this physical damage? The first Raging Storm hit will full clear the barrier. Yeah, but it'll get its damage reduced by the barrier. <laughs> oh, it hits the lower. So Happy's freaking dead if this hits, is what you're telling me. You should deploy Shamir, then have her attack Catherine. Oh boy, I'm sure there's dialogue. It feels bad. Let's imagine we did though, right? First things first, right? Is that thanks a bunch? Let's say I went for it, like all all shitter crits, right? Seventy nine minus forty six. How much does uh, Raging Storm give in any extra crit or no? No, it does get plus ten hit though. Also, I might lose my bat part way through. <laughs> Impregnable wall happy. Yeah, I could use it to like kill a thing. Okay. Seventy nine crit. Minus forty six. That's thirty three. If we Vantage Wrath her, IRNs, how's it going? Thanks so much for the follow. Glad to know you're enjoying the finale. If we kill her axe, that's 100% crit. I don't know if that's enough damage to like get through a whole barrier though, right? Or get through a whole health bar. 31. With Amir, she's dealing 50. That's 80% crit if she just like sits with Amir actually. But then she might Gambit. If you have 17 strength, you can break, break a barrier with the Blessed Lance. You need to deal 1 plus damage. Oh. Yeah, I've done that before. Raging Storm does effective damage. Not against Ancient Dragon Skin, right? No, it's right. It does. But I need more crit rate. Is the issue. Like if she if she crits a bar that doesn't have a barrier on, she just kill she just kills that bar for sure, right? Because that's like fifty something damage. Yeah, that's fifty damage times three, hundred and fifty. Bam, she hits it. <laughs> I think this one's weaker than Silver Snow. I think I still want Keyhole Wyvern on though, right? Yeah. Did she ever get hit last map? I don't think so. I think Edelgard just didn't even take a single hit. She has Wrath active. Then we can just take that and then like, bam, hit. We have Vantage. This is like 58% crit and if we're nearby, I don't really know which square you target. If you're counterattacking. Like if this square, if this shield is completely, if this square is completely down, then Edelgard's here, and then Rhea attacks her. I don't know which square like Edelgard targets with the counter. This critical is against the barrier, by the way. Targets the closest square. Okay, good to know. So actually, maybe I can just try to Vantage Wrath one of the health bars, right? Like if I get her, I could like build up Wrath range on the Fiery Floor with Edelgard and then just 
warp her in here. Find find a way to destroy this tile, right? And then warp her in right here. I'd have to find some way to also get rid of Cyril. Or the square where the unit can legally counterattack. Okay, yeah. Like if you have a bow equipped and no close counter, I'm sure. I don't I wouldn't know which one it would hit though if there was like two equidistant options. There's probably some kind of priority thing. Like if I retribution and put her here, find a way to hit this one with like happy, I don't know. Like I said, happy dies, but maybe that's a sacrifice someone may. Also, what's in this chest? It could be important. Cyril might try to gambit me. Hmm. Bofa? There's Bofair in that chest? Prayer ring. Nah, that's not really good. Wait, there's a speed wing in the bottom chest? These nuts, Lamal got him. It says bottom chest, speed wing. There's no way that's useful, man. Like, you literally have to go here, 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 and then, wow, you get a speed wing. There's no way that's right. It was useful for me once. Maybe it is going to be, but, like, having a chill finale stream, that's right. I mean, if we Thunderbrand, let me actually see. Am I, am I weighed down at all by Thunderbrand? Wait, seven? No, come on. I'm not weighed down by Thunderbrand. If I have another warp or a stride or something, then I can just yulm up here in bat desperation when one of the health bars down. Oh, halves all damage taken. Hold on, I didn't read this. Because it means I need to deal 220 damage to actually get through a health bar. Are you going for a quick clear? No, but I'm going to think about Rhea while I, like, can. Other than the golems getting stronger? I mean, that's still time pressure. Are there not um, Falcon Knight reinforcements too, or no? Can't remember. Like, I don't think I can warp and just, like, bonk her down. Reinforcements are zone-based. If I just go up the right, then... It's, like, a bunch of armor knights... Holy Knight, this guy. He doesn't move for some reason. Oh, it's a, it's a Lady Fortress Knight. Who's this supposed to be? I feel like this is supposed to be a special character. I mean, she has just generic skills, so maybe not. Defiant Res, Lamel. Yeah, like the Gilbert Ash replacement. I know that once you get up here, they, like, sound the alarm and everybody just, like, bungas at you. Let me start the map and, like, see what enemies are aggressive straight away. Oh, Petra has dialogue this map? Like, if I just stay out of range, what enemies will, like, run at me? Strategy. Why not? Ready and aim. There's no stopping me. Nobody. Come. So if I just make it to the right side, I should be good. Again, like she's making the monsters a bit stronger, but if I'm only fighting the two monsters, I can probably get around that. <laughs> Literally, nobody moves. Should be good. Manuel on first map feels weird, man. In first map? I don't think you can have Manuel on the first map. Last map, that's the best place for Manuela. Manuel is good, guys. She's like really good. And then this crew over here. Maybe I can just like try and sneak in here. There's probably a couple squares. Mm. Their ranges like completely overlap. It's been I had a long week. Completely mashed potato brain. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean people keep dissing Manuela, but look, she's oh shit, zero charm? I thought these guys had charm. Which monsters have charm? I thought these guys were. Maybe it's the um the other kind of golem that has charm. 
Oh, they also have names. It's pretty sick. Chevalier? Let's have uh, Balthus come over and take them out. Gaius? Yo, Awakening reference? Who's this person? Iris. Okay, cool. I'm a bit worried about running out of Italian Endurance. Like, only a little bit, though. Love whooping this dragon butt. Yo, true, though. You have 51 magic attack. Okay, by the way, let's look at deployment. Who else do we deploy here? Shamir for the first time ever? God, her stats are actually kind of shit. I don't know about this one. She's only got D authority. What would she do? Impregnable wall, actually. What's her speed right now? 15? I mean, like... 15 speed, 20 speed, what's the difference? Those light spears? I know, right? Get Lancebreaker, you'll be good. Or just break the barrier. Never even take him to begin with. Is it at all possible that I can get with like let me let me sort units by charm real quick. 30 charm. What about what about these guys? Right? 41 charm, 45. If I rally charm Edelgard. And give her the accuracy ring. Then I can have like some. Yeah, but actually I could probably have a lot of Gambit hit, right? That wouldn't be a bad way to break a barrier right away, as opposed to using Happy. Break a barrier. So I, I get in Wrath range, and then I walk up, right? Like, imagine this. I, like, get in Wrath range on this tile, and then I, like, walk up. With Rally Charm, Accuracy Ring, all that shit. Break barrier. Immaculate one attacks. I got Again, I gotta find a way around freaking Cyril, though. He's got 34 Charm. Yeah, Autoguard's pretty strong right now. She has more charm than Byleth, even with the T-Times. And then with a mirror? With an A-Mirror crit? That's like not a whole lot of damage, though. <laughs> Darkfire, Shamir with Survival and Strength and Trade and Speed, plus 7 all stats, bro. <laughs> I mean, if he just attacks Edelgard, then I can probably survive that, right? Because I can just Vantage and then bop him with a mirror or some shit. I'll be in Vantage Wrath range anyway, with a mirror out. Like, what's he going to do? He's probably going to detect that he is lethal if he attacks the Brave Axe. It'll, it'll depend whether or not the Immaculate One attacks before Cyril. If Immaculate One attacks first, then she might attack Edelgard. And then Edelgard could Vantage Wrath bop her back. And then Cyril, because... As far as Vantage Wrath and the AI goes, the AI will get fooled by Vantage Wrath exactly once. Like, the first time you do it, the AI will just fall for it hook, line, and sinker. They'll just totally run in, like they're going to kill you, and then they'll just get smacked in response. Bop her back, exactly. The moment that you, like, slap, an, the moment that you slap a, even a single enemy unit with Vantage Wrath, they get wise to it. They realize that, like, okay, a regular attack is not going to kill because you have Vantage Wrath. Like, once they've seen you proc it once, then, like, they stop regularly attacking you if they can. They're gonna use gambits if that will kill instead. So, like, Cyril could go up and use a gambit. Does, like, Pokemon Plat AI have stuff like Bronzong? Uh, sure. I've never encountered that AI. But if you say so, then yes. Like, they'll, they'll get fooled exactly once. So, it depends if they move first. I know that AI is in face. Yeah, yeah. So, if Immaculate One moves first. Which I think you can actually just check. Well, I'd have to open up the unit list. If Immaculate One moves first, then like she'll be the one who gets fooled, and then you'll go. But Immaculate One's only option will be to attack, so I don't mind. Like, if Cyril moves first, that's great. You just bam, Vantage Wrath Cyril. He's done. Never seen an action in three houses. Wrong House said so, and I trust Wrong House with these sorts of things. We can find some way to kill this woman, right? You don't have counterattack, actually. We can just hit you with magic. Yeah, she has like, what, 30? How much? Okay, so she has 15 less avoid with magic. The Immaculate One has been conceived. True, what's up, Grabon Killer? I 
Honestly, do I just leave these other deployment squares empty? No, Aloise has to be like a good deployment here. Like Rally Strength, kind of good, I hear. What about an extra cast of Warp? <laughs> Level 11 Dark Mage Linhart on the final map? Let's do it. And send everyone left. I actually want to do the opposite and send everyone right. Just because there are fewer enemies that way. So I've been busy. Couldn't miss the finale. True. There, like, there are fewer enemies this way, so I actually want to send my units up this direction. I think it's every three turns she buffs the monsters, so as long as I kill this guy by, like, turn... I don't know. I don't know how many turns I'm going to need to, like, kill this person. But, like, look, no, like nobody attacks these things over here. I think a hunter's followed Catherine's Shamir. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, fewer flyers. Linhart for Heartseeker strat? Yo, true, though. We put Linhart next to Raya. <laughs> Yo, put Linhart there. <laughs> he just baits out the serial attack. Yeah, plus 20 at home. <laughs> Linhart. Yeah, fear flyers. Like over here, lots of range attacks, lots of fast moving units. Also, there's a lot of lava over here, which makes it very easy for me to set up Wrath. She has endless busts. Wait, what? I've never heard this one before. Do I cert Yuritsa into hero because I can set up um, vantage really easily? Maybe I do. Or maybe I need Swordbreaker. Do I actually need Swordbreaker this map? Let me think about it. If I cert him into hero, what's his attack speed? With the brave sword. Thirty? Not quite enough to double, right? Yeah, no, no, we're no, we're even close. I can't get you like weight minus three, even like speed ring. Well, actually, if I get speed ring and a proc, how about instead of using that, I use um thunderbrand. That's way lighter, right? You're getting weighed down somewhat by this sword, yeah. Yeah, actually, if you just use Thunderbrand, then you don't. You do quad. We can maybe try to set up a Bat Desk. You have Rally Speed? I do not have Rally Speed. But Thunderbrand just doesn't weigh me down, so I just use Thunderbrand on this instead. Right, like, if I can break two squares, which I know is kind of a tall task, but if I can break two squares, I just, like, use Thunderbrand and, um, like, trade it around, like, Thunderbrand and Mirror. Right, actually, if I jump on that with all these units, that should maybe do it. 31 prot's kind of a lot. I don't know if that's more or less than what the turtle had. 56. What's up, Melo Garcia? Snam is Dio. If that's a spoiler, I apologize. But thank you for the follow. I'm in doubt it's enough. Bad desperation plus the, um... If only there's like a reliable way to take some battalion damage here, you know? No spoilers? Thank you. That's good to know. Because I just read out your username. Like a good streamer. I was like, wait a minute, that could have been spoilers. I finished all routes on Maddening. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. No, I meant like if that's a JoJo spoiler or some shit. Oof. It is not? I have no idea. <laughs> I just know there's a character called Dio and people care about that um, TV show. TV show? Anime? I don't know what it is. I think Thunderbrand's got to be the way. If instead of Hero, I don't think I want Vantage. How much classic speed does Risa have in Hero? 77. Could I get Defiant Strength? Dio's a hair metal band. Let's go. Sama's a Pokemon. I don't think they're similar. Fair enough. Snom is God. Maybe. Come on, 77 XP. There's no way I can get Defiant Strength. That's 36 combats. That's literally 36 combats, bro. If we do Sword Master, we get crit plus crit. 
I think two Swordmasters here with the Rally Strength. That could be really good here. How much strength do you have? 40? How much strength do you have? 35. So with Thunderbrand, that is like a lot, especially with Bat Desp. No, I'm not going to get Defiant Strength. I, I considered it for a moment. I was like, I'm not doing that. I long for them. It's true. I consider, I won't lie. I considered it. And then I was like, I'm not doing this. If I get here, maybe I can even like try and bait out this guy by like, you know, moving a unit here. Impregnable wall, put a unit here, and then like they come over. How I hit the I hit the barriers. We should be out of here. Anybody have Supreme? Okay, you have Supreme, that makes sense. Pulse Chosen? I think it's gotta be Pulse Chosen, right? I guess you could have um like some kind of silly bat, like some kind of utility bat. Sound Militia? Yo, Sound Militia is actually sick though. Let's give him Sound Militia. You have only E-Rank bats. Do I give you the stride? Can Happy do can Happy do better if she doesn't have the stride? Yes, let's give her like Saras Magic. The super injured one. Maybe we can proc like Battalion Wrath. <laughs> no, just kidding. Come on. Battalion Wrath with Happy. Get out of here. What the heck is, where the heck are they? Wait, hold on. Bridget Mercenaries or Kind of an interesting bat. Maybe I'll try them one day. Actually, whoa, E rank, five hit, five crit? Why do people talk shit about this bat? That's amazing. What the hell? Plus one attack, plus five hit. That's at, that's at level one, too. Why'd they get a level 10? Holy shit, that's amazing. Why do people talk shit about that bat? Crit plus 10. No, I definitely want plus hit. Sarah's archers. <laughs> I mean. Do you have to deal damage to take out a barrier? I think it does not gain much attack. Okay, but it's E rank. It's E rank. How much attack does it get? Let me actually look at it. What do you mean it doesn't get much attack? It gains three. Yeah, but it's E rank. <laughs> Holy shit, this fight is insane. 3 physical, 10 hit, 10 crit. This is like super good. Yeah, no, that's like a really good bat. Almost as good as Almira Merc. Mine should be better than Almira Merc. Defensive stats, nothing, but it's okay, okay, okay. It's E rank. We do need to deal damage to break a barrier with non-Gambit. Like, there are a lot of yee-ass units you get late game who just join with E-Authority or something. <laughs> it's like, yo, this could be handy. Gambit does not need to do damage. Yeah, but Gambit needs to hit past 49 charm. <laughs> Don't think that's happening. What if I just, like, get in there, you know? Just sublime having the barrier. Okay, but like. Thanks a bunch. That means Byleth is using her turn. <laughs> I think my plan is going to be. Um, like, if I can, I'd rather have Byleth using, like. Um, the sword that hits four times Thunderbrand. I do want to repair Sublime Creator Sword, though. Repair the Rapier Plus? Nah, I don't need to do that. Where's the Killer Axe? Can I repair that at all? Oh shit. I'm completely out. 12 Killer Axe is not a lot remaining. Busted Weapons on anyone should do it. Do I have a Busted Bow? If I had Cyril, I could use Monster Breaker. Wait, do I have a pair of Dragon Claws? There's no way, right? I can't buy any right now, yeah. No, of course not. Impregnable happy. 
How much damage would Happy do? Then effective damage, right? That's times three might. It's not a lot of might. Oh, she could deal damage. I thought high brazen gets for a good bat. I know. I love some bats. Is there one with like lower endurance that's also good? We can give him the Supreme, honestly. Is that better than Gautier? <laughs> it's lower avoid, that's for sure. We need a way to get rid of those um, boys, by the way, too. Bridget Hunters, Gaspard Knights, Secret Transport, nah. We want some plus crit if we can. Yo, Hevering Prayer, how the hell do we get this? How did we get this bat? I have no idea. Barley Archers, Lamau. Empire Holy Magic Users. Maybe my bats are fine. I'd love some plus hit or plus crit. Because we need to turn on bat desperation somehow, right? Empire Wyverns, actually? We only need to take 24 battalion damage to get these guys down to um, battalion desperation range. That's not too bad, BRB. He's the Batman. I will happily take that title. There's Gautier Knights. It's slightly less damage, actually. Nine Might on the Brave Sword. How much Might on the Thunderbrand? 13, so I get plus two damage on Rhea. 56. Minus 31 is 25 over 2, 12 damage. That's actually a lot. Especially coming in with Bat Desp. That's a shit ton of damage. Oh, do I put Sacred Power on Byleth? What kind of question is that? Of course I do. Do I want Bat Vantage? Do I want Defensive? I think I want Defensive Tactics, right? Axe Breaker? That doesn't actually seem important here. I mean, at some point I gotta take down Cyril, but like, maybe I just jump on Rhea all on one go. Also, maybe I just don't use Bat Vantage. All of these seem really important. Sword Powers is, like, by definition better than Axe Breaker right now, right? I mean, like, not quite. But against Immaculate One, for sure, it's better. Like, what if I literally went without Prowess? <laughs> Just for Cyril. Raging Storm should 40-ish damage on a broken barrier. Eighty-one. Minus thirty-one, twenty-five. Wait a minute, hold on. But then effective damage. Plus fourteen. So 81 plus 14 is 95, plus 24 is 129. Yeah, 48. I could give her Brave Axe, too. We have no Defiant Crit, unfortunately, but, you know. Like, that's the thing. We have these, like, low HP bats. But I wonder if we should try to repair them. Because I'm, we're probably going to run out of battalions partway through this fight. Like, these guys are literally at 14 and 9, or 8, bro. Get to 50 with Bad Sacred Power and Linked Attack. That can take out health bars like 1, 2, and 3. How much health does she have after that? Shut up. Just give me her frickin' stats. Hey, what? She has 57 HP on normal? What? Okay, 165 on Manning. On her third. So, first is 110, second is 110, third is 165, fourth is 199. Cool friggin' chest in this map. What's the wrong house?
Health bar three? Yeah, no, crit doesn't kill health bar three. And then we lose our bat for sure. We could wind sweep, Lamel. I mean, Yuri getting in here with the wind sweep actually seems pretty strong. Let's go ahead and put wind sweep on Yuritsa too. Let's put the sword arts on him. Wind sweep seems good. Grinder seems good. Wait a minute. What's this? A slice is like wind sweep, but bad, right? Like, literally, just don't get countered, Lamel. Yeah, Hay Slice is just like strictly worse wind sweep. Wow, okay. Hay Slice says uses. Maybe he had six Raging Storms. Oh, we broke this Silver Sword. Ouch. We have Silver Sword Plus, right? We still got some of these. What bat does he have? Empire Wyvern? That'll work. Actually, with Empire Wyvern, does he even have crit on her? 38 crit? You don't even have crit on her with Empire Wyvern. What about you? You do have crit. Part of that's from the Sublime, though. Actually, how much crit does um, this give? S10 crit. But, like, Yuritsa still doesn't have crit, so let's just focus on might and hit for him. Gate Knights, Lester Dicers. Lester Dicers is probably right, yeah? Tulse Chosen Moment. Empire Heavy? Make a backup save, you can go bananas with money? Yeah, exactly. Can't counter at range like how I think it can on normal? Wait, really? What can we buy here? We can buy a bunch of killers and shit, right? There's not a killer in here, though. This is a Brave Axe. This is a different weapon. Really, really? This guy? Yeah, he only has the one range. Rip boy. Okay, hold on a sec. I gotta I gotta sort out this bat though. Cause you can't actually crit. Luster dicers, just give him luster dicers, man. No, this one this one can do range. This one can do range. This one's melee. Range, melee. It's about half of them. Back, back, aha. What if we just bunga in there? Like, literally, what if we just bunga in there right now? Is that the one? Thank is that the one? Thanks a bunch. So comfy, bro. Based and comfy peeled. That may be the case. <laughs> Time to buy some new bats, right? We haven't leveled these guys up at all. Yeah, no. Look at how bad these guys are. The malabsorption. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks I think we need an extra one of those for like Petra, right? Okay, let's just focus on like killing this golem straight away and getting as much distance in here as we can with our units. Timotheus Magi for Resonant Flames is, like, kind of a cop-out. In the sense that, like, I don't want to use such a powerful tool straight away. Or how are you still prepping? I was thinking, bro. We can do that, and then that. We can actually do that, and then, like, a... Chicken out. Exactly. Not that kind, though. There was a lot to talk about with chat. Yo, Silver X Plus? It's a good weapon I hear. Checking out these nuts. Lamau got him. This is a relatively short raisins prep. I know. We can just sound militia them down. Lamau, hit that one. I never prep. Exactly. 
These guys never prep. My chat never preps. Ever. In the history of the world. Let's just take it, right? Like, come on. I think in, I think in convoy and all that shit, we have everything we need. The only the only question I have is like, maybe, maybe we need to repair the bats on Bylith and Edelgard. They're kind of low on endurance right now. Oh, we need to uh, switch this out too. Instead of Lance Prowess and Swordbreaker, we need Sword Prowess and Axebreaker? Question mark. Sure. Try if you players just play start when they see the prep screen. True. I don't need any of these. Wrath is good, though. At last. Let's make this quick. In this situation. Let's begin. Alois useful? What? Sound militia? Good. It's true. Sally it's more likely than you think. Maybe I should have repaired the bow, Zoltan. I'm in. Wait, I missed two of those? Bro, I missed two of those. Yeah. I forgot to equip lethality on my assassins too. Understood. It's fine. Strategy. I will prevail. There's no stopping me. For the Empire. Why not? Threading the needle with Happy here, bro. Wait, how do we envenom him? Oh, flash the poison arrows, right? We brave axe moment? Maybe have more move through some areas. I know that. I mean, like, she was still able to attack anyway, though, right? I guess I could have got her closer for, like, less hit penalty. Can't counterattack in melee. Or at range, rather. Oh, I don't think Fetters is going to be enough. No, it is enough. Cool. These guys have, like, super duper sword breaker, though. Especially Yoni and Bernie, yeah. Seven AS, sixteen prot, fifty, fifty one. We die. Okay. That's fifty one attack, right? How much damage you do the Holy Knight? Thirty one. <laughs> Five. Okay. I mean, it does bait him out though. Into Dark Spikes range? Question mark. 
trade over the fetters and the caduceus and then dark spikes them? I think so. That should work. Should have just proc lethality, Lamau. Elixir for six? That's an elixir golf score if I've ever seen one. Hit this with the silver sword? No, iron plus. Oh yeah, crit. It's fine though, only 54 hit. Can you actually car yourself a Crimson Flower fan? I know, right? Hasn't even played it like 30 million times. Oh shit, they have healing, right? Um, Encanto? Never mind. We just aggroed them. That's cool. Okay, we kind of got a bunga in here to hit that right golem. What? He didn't get plus charm though, Lamo. Oh, this is not much. It's only, what, it's plus 5 to dex, plus 3 to speed, plus 2 to res. Is that it? Seriously? If I want to get here? Oh, no. And of course, I said being a mage is unimpeded. Sagity? Sad boost stack like crazy. Not if I get in there real quick. That's also it's only res speed and um dex, so like I'm not too afraid. I've got no time for mercy. What should be you got? 46 plus 16. We cannot hurt that guy, unfortunately. Um if we go here, then you're definitely counterattacking me at range. 33 AS, okay. Let's get in there with like... I really should have repaired the bow of Zoltan, but I don't think it'll matter. I should have, um... Damn it. I'm forgetting to do like a bunch of really simple stuff. I could like really improve my chances all of it. Uh, this square is better for fetters, question mark. It was 11 sword. Is it you? It's you with 11 sword. Should trade that. I can just trade it next turn, actually. It's not too bad. It's also only every three turns, right? The stat boosts. I'm like eating giant crit rates over here, bro. You just wind sweep at the start. Assassinate Lamel. It's actually a shit ton of avoid too. It's because all the other five maps are sick. Yo, preach. No time to slow down. No defiant res for you. Easy. Oh shit! Plus magic. Okay, not bad. That is in counterattack range. So let me take a different avenue of attack. If I equip speed ring, 21 crit avoid, 50 crit, holy shit, bro. That's so much. Oh, and warding blow. Wait, Lamal, warding blow. Agnes arrow this kid from melee. It almost works. Wait a minute, I have a magic staff, don't I? I Scythia does. Warding blow in his barrier and magic. Yo, true though. Super warding blow. Once I get my army up here, Catherine should go down. I got I mean like 34 charm shouldn't be that hard to gambit, right? 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 Copium? Of the opening theme. I'd say we're in the final boss room. Exactly. No, that can't be right, dude. Do you want to keep Agnea's arrow cast at all for you? I don't think so, right? How much res you got? A bajillion. It's the galaxy brain strats right there. 
Magic seems like it'd be a good way to take this person out though, right? She has far less magic avoid. And she does regular avoid. Where's the highest sev? We can't really sort, I mean we can sort by luck, but we can't really sort by sev. We have Manuela nearby. <laughs> I think we just gotta eat the crit. Or actually, do we have, you know, with like high res that we can just like put in there? Eventually, right? No wall. We do have wall somewhere, right? Actually, oh, I forgot to put wall on it, but no, there's wall. Okay. First, I was like, did I forget wall? Period. What if we just eat the crit, you know? The classic raisins. Just eat it. Walls are bad. Okay. Like, I'm kind of... I kind of want to get in there. But maybe I should get more of my boys. No, I'm talking about this person. Not eat a crit from Catherine. I'm talking about this person. Catherine, I'm not worried about. Catherine, I think... Honestly, could I just bolt in Catherine, like, right now? Like, take a look. All right, check this out. I mean, it's not going to be a good hit rate. Caduceus, equip. Plus... Oh, I don't have Caduceus? Oh, you have Caduceus, right. Later. Later I'll do it. I'm talking about Leone eating a crit from this person. How much Sev you got, actually? Does he have Bow Prowess what now? Sev 8, plus 21, 29. 21 crit. How much hit? A basic 100. Let's just eat it. Is def defense a period full stop? Actually, how much damage do you take from this guy if, like, Tomahawk hits you in the counter? Oh, a lot. Okay. Another peerless victory. Yeah, I've seen worse odds. Every time chapter 4. It's basically the start of the map, too, right? Like, it's, you know, we're pretty much here. Yo, hold on, heal. Lamel, got him. Next turn, we just break barrier somehow. Petra's up in there, too. Attack with a Nosferatu. Faith XP, real quick. No, I'm kidding. Vine run automatically useful, maybe because it doesn't take fire damage. Nah, bro, Swordmaster for the crit. Also, I got like, how many Vulns do I got? I'm not worried about fire damage. I got like 17 three use Vulns. That's 51 uses of Vuln right now. God, this guy's being actually kind of annoying. Okay. We have a stride. Do we use up one of our strides here? This is from the Gatia Knights. Don't show the words definitely to death in our RPG stream. Oh, I said uh, defense. Onslaught would move him away. Don't want that. I think this guy's attacking AI is actually like a lie. I don't know. He's got a Braxis. Maybe I should uh, take it seriously. Wait, I got silence. If I, got, if I got all the way up here somehow, which I know I can do. Yes, stride. Yep, stride. Abraxas Dragon is my favorite type in Dragon Veil. Yo, true. Let's do this. Thank you. You're not doubling, is what you're telling me, eh? Sorry, Bernard. 
Gotta take out a health bar. Oh shit, yeah, the fetters, right? It's pretty good, actually, because we can leave. Attack with one of these boys. You have a Braxis. It's not much might. It's like, what, 46 might? You don't have White Tome Fair, right? Yeah, no, it's a bishop. You have, like, big heal touch instead of White Tome Fair. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage, actually. From us, not to us. I mean, sword weakness moment, right? This might be tough. Uh, second sound of militia. I can't imagine this flash fire or, or this um fusillade being good against anything else. Like, if there's a time to use the fusillade gambit, it's this. Just use it. That was a lot of damage too. Was that like 15 or some shit? What? Oh my god, bro! Bro! We got wrecked! <laughs> Let's silence the boy too. Do we Rapier? Rapier seems pretty good here, yeah? I mean, it takes out a health bar. Let's just, like, f finish off with our most accurate, like, spell combo. 59 damage. Can I do that with Constance somehow? Hmm. Looks like we need more. Shitter crit moment? Can I do 28 with you? You have Seraphim. You can probably deal 28. On paper, she can deal 28. Yeah, in reality, she just misses everything. Yo, finally, reliable Wrath setup. Okay. Most accurate spell combo. Yeah, about that. I kind of need to hit him with some damage right now. Are you terrain immune? Yeah, you are. Just wondering, you know, just wondering. Anyone I can heal that's like useful to do so? Probably Yuri or, or Leonie, right? What badges I said they even have? Uh, the Resonant Lightning one, whatever that is. Matthias. Ooh, they have overlapping ranges. We can bop this person, though. Actually, where the hell is Yurita? Does it mean you shows bow penalty? Wait, really? <laughs> it does. And we're proccing bad desp here, right? Just go here and kill with fire, I think. Yo, what things do we have equipped that are like weighing us down so much? Yo, these are some fast armor knights, bro. Shows bow penalty, but doesn't actually do that. Yeah, true. But that was, who the hell is speed ring right now? Oh, it's Leone. My orders? Let's give Constance the speed ring. I'd like to one round these guys. I think that'd be really cool if we did. Yo, we can break shot these kids? Holy shit, that's like no hit rate. We have it equipped. Nice. And we won around. Your death serves my purpose. 
heal Yuri. Heal Byleth, question mark? We don't have any, like, defiant strats with Byleth, so it's, like, actually fine to do that. We're not messing up anything. The rest of us need to move up. Out of guard, though. We want her on the fire. Oh, shit. Alright, I guess I must have entered a zone. What the hell? Wait, why are you moving? Don't tell me everyone moves. Please don't tell me everyone moves, bro. Please tell me only some enemies move. Don't tell me they have, like, rallying AI, you know what I mean? The one where it's like, oh, if they run into their buddies, then they make all the buddies move as well. You pass the stairs. Which stairs? These stairs? Okay. Not bolting. Who's Caduceus? Well, we need to get happy up here then. Yo, what the hell? Oh, because of uh, Sacred Power. I was like, why is she doing more damage? Duh, Sacred Power. Let's take Ash and Gilbert dies? Okay, good to know. We should have it then. Magic Luck, the constant level. Where's that Magic Defense, actually? We could Vantage with the Killer Axe here. That would unfortunately give us a chance to go out of, like, Wrath range soon, but I think I'll take it. Uh, these Falconites are pretty far away. Hello, Dare, by the way. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Glad to know you're enjoying Minimalist Maddening Finale, bro. I should be able to do it, right? Just curious, if I, like, just sublime this woman, what happens? It's kind of bad. I'm gonna try and use magic to get her down, then. Also, who the heck is, like, attacking me? Yo, this guy's bolting? Bro! Retribution Gambit, when? Can I actually hit this guy, like, all the way down? 20? 77? If I can deal 77 with something. Double X can probably do it. Maybe not. Maybe Devil Axe still, like, being next to Byleth, right? And a Rally Strength. That could do it. When they both die or when only one of them dies? Because I can actually take out Gilbert through the wall if I want to. But if I don't want to, then I'm not going to do it, right? So... How's this guy trying to move? Is he trying to attack um, Yuri, but he can't? Is that what's going on here? Any of them? Okay. So when I kill either of them is what you're telling me. When fake Ash or Gilbert dies. I think this guy's trying to attack Yuri. Well, I got in his range, to be fair. Oh, they each have a separate reinforcement? Okay. I'm awake. Someone's three Falconites from the right side of the map? Okay. Can I get both of those? Or no? Like, just curious. I don't I don't intend to get both of those, but can I? We just took some bat damage. We're going bot lane with our whole army. Our ADC is not going to get any XP. Yo. Sick league reference, though. 
Okay, where the hell are these women going, bro? Did you just go for, like, Byleth? I think you just go for Byleth. Can't afford to fall. Prot 35. How much might you guys got? 56. That's actually not a lot. Juni can live. Cat my shield, swallow the elixir. It's official. I see, I see. Whoa, whoa, not assist, not assist. Worth more than the real one? That's very interesting, although uh, please keep politics out of the stream, Dunkmaster. Well, I just hit it, like, attack without even thinking about it, by the way. Maybe? Don't worry about it. Where are we going? We go one, we go two. These Holy Knights are going to show up like maybe five or six turns from now. Who knows? This Pegasus Knight is the most like threatening person in the world right now, though. I wonder if I need to like... And this person's going to go like three squares right of that, even. I think they're going for Byleth, though. So if I send Byleth to the north, I can maybe bait them away. I can bait them to go more north than south, or than east, rather. Not looking good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go, go, go. Okay, there we go. Finally. I was like, what the heck? Why am I not, like... Hey, Bo of Zoltan. I'm definitely getting hit. And I'm definitely getting doubled, so, like... Reducing my attack speed doesn't actually hurt me. That's the neat part. We can't without cheese. Lainey looking at Lauren's free time skip. Not looking good. Hey, man's had a glow up, okay? Maybe we can kill a Petra. Oh, shit. Can't kill a Petra. Pro Phoban. Restorationist. Yo, true. Three houses politics. Are we in Wrath range? We're in Wrath range, boys. Although, hmm, that could start to, um... I still want to be able to fool the AI with that, so I don't think I want to proc Wrath just yet. I might need to proc Wrath on these Pegasi. Guys, a sequel. <laughs> I want to go to Dagdar so bad. I, too, want to go to Dagdar. Careful. Who the hell can attack me? Oh, Bolting Mage. Mark Vaulting Mage's range real quick. Damn, it's really big. I'm gonna have to probably like Vantage Wrath that person down. Dimitri's right, actually. Uh oh, watch out. If these guys have Rally AI, I'm gonna be quite upset. Oh, I don't have Retribution on. Shit. I'm starting to have doubts about quad scheming abilities. These Pegasi are very... They're placed in a very inopportune manner. Whose ranges do I have marked? Remove them real quick. Who moves first, left peg or right peg? Left peg moves first, that's actually bad. That means right peg won't fall for it. Step carefully. That seemed worse. Wait a minute, if I like magic staff. Can Agnea's arrow just one shot her?
Like, who are you attacking right now, Lysithia? If I block off the attacking squares with Yuri, maybe I got it. Do you want to run Byleth too? Shh, sh you do, bro. Wait, where's Petra? I could maybe block squares with Petra and Yuri. Yes, let's try that. Oh, I should have had Violet Equip Sword. <laughs> what is what are those like noises? Like, if I go up here with my stealth units. Oh right, these guys are Pegasi, so. Wait a minute, if I go here. Doing pretty well so far. Oh, I try him just for fun. Can we physic anybody useful? The uni probably wants a physic. And they should all go for out of guard now. Wait, Byleth exists, right? It's fine. We can just do this here. You need to be over here anyway in order to help Constance. I don't know who has accuracy ring. Out of guard should get both of these girls though. Eighty-seven hit. Oh, that's kind of bad. If one of them has to be sub one hundred, though, I'd rather be the hit rate. I must pull. Like if I had my druthers, they'd both be hundred hundred. But if one of them has to be weak. Let it be the hit rate. Oof. We can definitely do this with Agnea Zero, right? Okay, we just have to find a way to get the linked attack over there. Here's the magic staff you do. I didn't say she did nothing wrong. Oh, everyone's arguing about whether or not Edelgard did anything wrong. The classic. Let's get these plus hit supports in here. And give her the magic staff. What are the spells you have that deal anywhere near as much as Agnea's arrow? So I can do Agnea's arrow minus a bit. If I can get a... Oh, I have the march ring on you. There's no way that I can be in range for um, both. Oh, shit. Can I get a healing staff out of here? Where's the healing staff? Manuela? We gotta heal Byleth if she's gonna be in range of um. You know what we also gotta do? I think we have to impreg. What's my strategy? We're not impregnable wall retribution. We have to retribution a lot of them over here. AS32? Wait, that's not with um bolting this. Wait, hold on a sec. That's actually still a lot of AS with um bolting equipped. Oh, but bolting doesn't double ever, so we're good. Bonk, bonk. Don't have any bat desperation on right now. What happens if one of these guys attacks Yuritsa? Decent crit chance. Another thing I could do is just put Edelgard. Anyone with retribution inside the range. Who has fetters, actually? Oh, you have fetters, that's trash. 
Wait a minute, hold on. I can trade fetters, equip fetters, go up here. Auto guard can trade fetters, equip fetters. Go here. Yuri can... Actually, Edelgard would probably just put fetters onto Petra. Maybe go here and then put fetters on Petra. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit Edelgard, um, Constance, and Byleth in a Retribution. I guess I could move Leone out of the way. Yeah, if I move Leone out of the way... I can go here, put fetters on Petra. Yuri can then take fetters, equip sword, retribution. That gets a lot of them. Okay, I got it. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, go ahead and put retribution on some people. And I think I got it. Do we need to physic anybody again? Yuri's kind of fine. Constance, maybe? Yeah, Constance needs to be able to survive a, um, bolting. If I take fetters from here and equip a sword and equip the fetters and I cast retribution this way and I can canto up there and provide the linked attack to Constance and then I can go this way and have retribution enabled with bat vantage should I have like a killing edge equipped instead maybe no I need, I need um sublime for the linked attack I forgot to equip the magic staff, didn't I? I got it. Petra to the rescue. It's gotta be Agnizero, right? And this has to hit. I got a pulse if it doesn't. Got her. So it's beyond destroyed, rip. So have you ever had a decent size suffering pills even an hour later? Yeah. <laughs> rip. I mean, you're supposed to not do that. Nuked. Agnea's arrow strike Cassandra. <laughs> That's how it go. Alright, Agnea's arrow is going to counter attack this mage too for like some amount of damage. Not a lot. Actually, it might kill. Okay, I'm off by two. Up by three for killing this guy. Damn, okay. I'll just rally luck, uh, Yuritsa next turn. Heal happy, why not? Hey, they get support points. Petra the real MVP. Yes, yeah, right, without Petra, wouldn't have worked. Three damage short. Bolton crit could happen. Like, I've been taking risks all over the place, but like... She becomes unhappy. That's true. Reverse happy. Evil happy be like... Yo, rally luck for the, um... Sev. Bro, we're good. It's only 55 hit. We should be fine. Yuritsa eventually has to move up here. That's why his retribution is so important. Um, it was to kill the Bolton guy early, because otherwise this guy is going to, like, exist. And, he, like, he's completely in my camp right now. Where's the rapier? You have the rapier? Okay.
need to figure out how to complete this map on auto battle. Oh yeah, you're doing this auto battle now. Ooh, I don't double with rapier. I don't even like. I don't even come close to critting Step either. By the way. Carefully. Do you have March Ring or no? Just with March Ring, bro. It's bolting. Actually, bolting does kill here. Let me see what I kill with Caduceus staff. Oh, I actually need Bolting Magic Staff in order to kill this person. Just curious if you mount. No, your movement's way worse. Okay. I don't want to warp either right yet. Should one of you guys maybe have like lower attack speed? Nope. Wait, speed ring. Speed ring rapier. Where's rapier? Oh shit, hold on, I can't attack in melee that though. I can't attack that in melee. If I trade over fetters, I can. Hmm. This guy's slower. Maybe rapier doesn't weigh down. Oh, it's all the same. Best speed ring. You do. Wait, so convoy does? Who the hell has speed ring? Oh, Constance. Can go over. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I can go over trade speed ring onto you, and then with rapier, I can actually go up and just one round one of these kids. So that would even be possible in manning with auto battle? Tribalicle's trying. Carbon finished the map with War Cleric Ingrid punching everybody and ended up moving back and forth. <laughs> Why'd you choose War Cleric Anger? Just curious. I think that's going to be in there somewhere. I have to try, right? Let's do it. Pull on the trigger. If I'm one speed away from doubling that guy, actually. Byleth had, what, 33 speed? I'm trying to remember how much speed Byleth had. The other guys less avoid, though, so let me just hit this person. I will restore my house. Oh, wait, but then the Pegasus moves in. Shit. Actually, wait a minute. If I have speed rank, I can just like hit him with Sublime from two range. I bet. Also, who the hell is uh, Thunderbrand? I can just do this. Oh, bro. Never mind. We're good. It's up real estate. Trying to restore her house. It's true. What did you expect? Okay, I think we're in the enemy camp. We are well in the enemy camp now. So unfortunately, um, Saris' range is a bit larger than Cyril's range. So I really gotta think about my approach. But the good news is I'm pretty sure I've gotten here without taking any battalion damage. Skill stack was impressive. Yeah, you have indoor Coco on this map. So if I Wrath, I have 129 crit. Minus 46 is actually pretty good. We still got to deal with this Holy Knight, of course. But, you know, once we get our units up here, 
basically, I'm gonna take as many turns as I need to get my team up into this corner. And then once we're once we're in position, then we're gonna jump on uh, Rayo all at once. Similar breeze, Marianne. I have a debuff. Oh, a seal defense from the mage, right? Let's just get our units up here, yeah? I'm pretty sure Aloise hitting him next turn should be enough. Let's just get our units in position. Yeah, they're gonna boost the golems, but that doesn't matter. I don't intend to actually like engage in combat with any of these golems. Maybe this one is actually gonna keep moving though, who knows? If he does, then like that could pose a bit of a threat, but it just means I don't double them. Seal defense, bro. Oh, come on, Duckmaster. Come on, bro. Is this guy is still moving? Feeling edgy today, Dunkmaster is. We got a shitter in chat. So it looks like we do have to kill this golem. Let's watch out for this Falconite Ranch. Yeah, this Eureka is like very dodgy. And I don't mean like a bad way. We go here. We have some Gambus left, right? Yeah, we have a whole absorption actually. Absorption could be pretty good against this barrier. We still have an assault troop from our keyhole. And we still have a fusel ad actually. What's in the chest? It's like a prayer ring or some shit. Not something I particularly need. Although miracle could be useful, question mark. I don't have any like movement mechanics to take advantage of right here, so. What if I just bolting this kid, you know? Right? You have counterattack, right? There's no way you don't have counterattack, yeah. What if I just bolting this kid? You dare use my own spells against me? That may have been unneeded, but. I still have a bolting, pretty sure. I got two, that's even better. Swing a prayer ring in a chest? You know, I mean, now that you mention it. Like, I might as well, you know. No reason not to. Thanks. Probably more than 2 HP would be good. I understand I want to stay in Wrath range, but like... Actually, that might put me in range to get restored out with um, Crest of Flame, so maybe not. And before that prayer ring colors of your inventory too much, I have Convoy. I should be fine. Oh, you didn't even like get in there all the way. Ugh, Falco Knight, bro. I moved Byleth, where's my range now? That's oh, still fine. Back up! Tread careful. Yeah, now we're actually like one Crest of Flames away <laughs> from losing Wrath. Uh, maybe bad. It's useful, right? If I had a flyer with a chest key, I would definitely just like go here and then like bam, bam, you know? That's what I'd do. But I don't. I'd have to like look how many enemies I'd have to go through. I'd have to literally go through this entire stack. I'm not doing that. I should have moved Yuritsa and um, Eloise. I welcome pain. 
Raisins too proud to use fires, that's true. Did nothing wrong, also true. You guys are really good at this, just saying. Using flying bats. Oh crap, dude. Run disqualified. Maybe I should have had accuracy ring on. I can still be done. Ladies hit their gambits. More than 11. Sarcastic pompous attitude. I think you misunderstand her. It's okay. It's okay. If we're gonna miss something, it might as well be this. If we're gonna get like a hundred misses. Tried using Seraphim against non Draco zombies? Is it like kinda good or no? Oh, Yuritz is the only one in fire right now, Lamel. Let's give him a little heal. Give him a little touch up, you know? Okay, so these are the safe squares. You have the th four range lance, bro. That's Thunderbrand, by the way. I've asked this like a hundred times, but who actually has it? You do. The last Agnea's era. Wait a minute, do I have magic staff or no? It is equipped too. Damn. Okay. Hmm. The last Agnea's era. I think it's worth, right? Come on, it takes out a health bar. Let's go ahead and trade the Thunderbrand over too. Bonk. Finally, dude. And water tiles. Thunderbrand, Lamal. Wait, Thunderbrand with Bat Desp? We have it, right? Yeah, wait. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We're facing like a million crit rate anyway, right? Wait, is there anywhere we can get Manuela up there? Where's the prayer ring? Seraphim 72, not bad. Yeah, vantage? Nah. No bullshit like that. Uh just eat the crit, question mark. Yeah, we don't have any more um Supremes, so. I think just eat the 34 crit. But you have fetters equipped, right? You could probably go up and like wind sweep this kid. Wait, hold on, Edgard has Brave Axe. That can be like really effective. Well not yet she doesn't, but she does somewhere in her inventory. She has a Brave Axe. How many turn wheels? All six still. I just want to like not use one if I can get away with it, right?
Down to 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just with, like, the movement order that I'm seeing right now, I think, honestly, like... The thing I can do is just go here. Nope, I can't go there. I have to... If I have to attack from melee, it's gotta be from here. Like, I want Violet to take out the hardest health bar. Maybe there's something in here that can give me plus luck. I already have one of these. Okay, so if he shitter crits us, we just miracle, right? That's how this game works. Okay, no crit. Wait, I can just hit this button. Luna does it. Seraphim does it. Seraphim does it with slightly higher hit rate. Should I constantly like take the brave axe out of convoy? It would have been a wise thing to do. His accuracy ring. What if I just actually I just have Edelgard bop him right? Like come on, just bop him with the silver. Yeah, come on. Easy moves. Not like. We don't need you no more. That's true. She has bad desp, so she was going to get all four attacks in. Yeah, now she's out of wrath range, but I have fire tiles. Yeah, I have fire. I can just sit in here until she's in wrath again. All right. Let's make camp over here. We got six divine pulses, 11 endurance on the keyhole, 20 endurance on the supreme. <laughs> How do you deal with cereal? Um, I might actually try to just like jump on this person all in one go. Oh, if you engage Ray, he just doesn't move. Wait, really? He's just like, nah, I'll let you fight. So we could assault troop, shitter, wrath crit this person. just stop if you've engaged Rhea? Wait, what What do you mean? If you've engaged Rhea, they just move next to you and then stop. They don't attack. Somehow I doubt. I think Edelgard just doesn't die to Cyril. I thought Rhea just moves first. And then you kill her on the enemy phase. That's honestly what I thought. Just curious. If I bolting, how much damage do I take? A billion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The action hero rule. I'm out of Supremes. Let's just get Leonie up there, though. Let's draw the Brave Axe as well. Wait, where is the Brave Axe? Oh, it's on frickin' Aloise, bro. Doubting Wronghouse? The right move? I don't know. He is Wronghouse, after all. I can't crit her, right? Come on. 46 luck? That's a lot. You can pull Zero with Bolting if need be. It's true, I could. Maybe I want to be uh, using linked attacks though.
They might aggro this boy, though. Oh, also, this Falcon Knight is going to be, like, annoying. I guess if we put Edelgard here and another unit here, then the Falcon Knight can only attack Edelgard, but still. Go here for the moment. It's happy gonna cast Stride, Warp, which you're gonna do. We also need to Risa and uh, Aloise up here. So let's not do anything until we get them up here. How low do I want Edelgard? Yes. Very low. Still Puri, there's no reason for it to be injured. Do you want Edelgard to be injured? No idea about Maddening, because I routed the last map on Maddening run. Oof. We got pulses though, so we should be good. The church has secrets, Muck ass. So what, turn 17? We've seen a lot of boosts. But it might Gambit Edelgard, though. 37 charm is a lot. Especially with linked attack. <laughs> Just, do you provide linked attack? Your Church of Saros, your Children of the Goddess. I don't know if you would. Probably will, though. Spoilers, Raya has angry roars. Probably Petra is going to be the one casting the stride because I think Happy is going to go in with an impregnable wall. Petra could like cast stride this way, right? And we're going to get it. We're going to try and hit impregnable wall on Happy. Maybe on you too, because you can Sarah from down a square as well. The game ends after the final chapter. Bro, you can't tell me that. Huge spoiler. Sus. What, no epilogue? Oh, true, yeah, there's an epilogue. I forgot about that part. Let's get Eureka up here. I want him on, like, this square. Actually, this square. Complex. Oh, I have healing focus this whole time, bro. No post game? Yeah, there's no post game. Ready and able. I'm on water level. Nice. Yoshi hopping. Epic Conquest Forgotten? Yes, exactly. You forget the, uh, you forget the forever single part. And does look very sus. Okay, another roar. But I got on one HP, that should be enough, right? I have Lenhart with like a Physic in case I need a doo, doo heal. Understood. In case I need like a little bit, right? Okay, let's go here. There's Caduceus, by the way. Actually, we should probably trade that over. I can't fall just yet. Because I want a Caduceus from these two squares. Alright, let's prepare to bunga. Good luck, me. Oh, 
Much Bravo needed. team, we're going in. I didn't really think this through, I'm not gonna lie, I just like ton of bunga, you know. Seraphim, Lamal. Banshee? Nah. We want high hit. Oh shit. And damage. Um We also need that. We didn't Riley Charm. Where's Accuracy Ring? Yeah, I kind of need damage, apparently. Um... So he didn't counterattack Happy, right? I can't remember. No, I think she's immune to days. Kind of get wrecked. Oh, Cyril can go around back, can he? Forgot about that detail. But apparently you don't engage, according to Wronghouse. for bug incoming. will do. So it's not I don't No magic on our last level, bruh. In life is the dragon white or silver. I'm in.
Oh, we have a stride here, too. She's falling off. Time to bench. Well, I hope Wronghouse is right. For Leone's sake, I hope Wronghouse is right and Cyril does not attack. Wait, what? I thought you attacked Happy. My teacher. Why doesn't she attack Happy? What? Since when? Damn it, priority, you're right. Bad first monster boss. I had her most of the way down. It would have been not bad, actually. I'm awake. Okay, first pulse of how many? Six. I still got some leeway. They're all moving. We're on a time limit, boys. How's this? Oh shit. No, 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 no. This is scary, though. Planning is key. Okay, yeah, Cyril just doesn't move then. Trade over fetters to Manuela. We could then go up and like actually hit a useful person with that. Like we're kind of under a lot of pressure here. I mean, if we kill these guys, are we actually under a lot of pressure? We could try to break barrier. But if we try to break barrier, hold on a sec. Let's let's delete some ranges real quick. Is there any way we can break barrier here? It's freaking 49 charm, bro. No, that's not happening. We can't stun her. That's not that's not a realistic proposition here. Sword's charm in her hips. Whoa, Monka S. Where's the Caduceus? Thirty-seven charm, bro. 
My orders? But you get like turbo pwned by Rhea, but you can like kind of kill one of these kids, right? Yeah. Killing off like Scythia right here is maybe not terrible. To get this. Manuel is like a bit too far back. For this to be like super effective. I'm about to just burn down from disaster. Oh wait, it's Raisin's playing. It's not gonna happen, bro. I will prevail. Lenhart could warp Manuela. Could, actually. That's not bad. Stride with Lenhart? Lenhart yeah, Lenhart could also stride here. That would get everybody in position really well. Let's do that. Thank you. It's already in the process of burning down. Yes, water closet. Ready and able. That helps. Me? Really? That's not a great crit rate. <laughs> Is only going to be marginally improved. The lingo threw me off. What's up, Hildebro? Probably should do well here. It's fine though. Yuritsa would die, I think, if that hits. 57. And it hits on the lower, right? This is good though. Crit or no crit? So it's I Honestly, I could also, if I need to, I can, <laughs> I could do this. Imagine if Edelgard had Blathed, please no. I have fetters here, actually. I don't see anything else useful for like Yuri and Petra to do, so. Let's go. Random chance for homemade relic to have reduced juices, yeah. Why not?
Let's go. Gotta be Coco. I agree. Do we just shit a Raging Storm? It's only a 53% hit rate from her. Let's start shit a Raging Storming. Come on, give it a go. It's fine. Why not? That would have burned an RN, right? That burned an RN, yeah? Burn an RN, you need a hit. It's right there, though. What's right there? Oh, the win. Do I eat a hit if I burn an RN? That next number could be pretty high. Because what was the last RN string? The last RN string was uh, two for 100 and then one for crest and then one for crit. And the crest and crit didn't work. We're kind of past that now. So crest and crit might have a different result now. No, 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 it's on the same RNG string, isn't it? Divine Pulse does like go back to whatever the RNG was before. And then I used Crest of Timotheus, which burned an RN. Like using the Crest of Timotheus, casting the, no, but casting Physic from Happy Crest of Timotheus. Doesn't Happy have Crest of Timotheus? That burns an RN when she casts Physic, right? I'm almost dead certain that works. I mean, like, Oh, true, I do survive a hit. Not the gambit, but, you know, I do survive a hit. Let me make sure my items are correct. Huge. 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 Yeah, the crest rolled so you get a crit. Hold up, hold up. Hold on, she's in wrath range though. <laughs> Just curious, how much does this do? Okay, so if I need to, this strategy races, what does it mean? <laughs> Onga Bunga? Smash killer? YOLO? 69. <laughs> Got her. Oh, wait, oh, you're here for level 2. GG. Oh, what an easy video game. Fucking got him. Yo, Kitty Ports 25. Thanks for the sub. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth, bro? <laughs> My girl, Hildebro, follow. Thanks so much. GG. Holy shit. I mean, like, kind of bunged there at the end. But you know what? It worked. It worked. 
forever known as the 69 run. Remember when you made happy as <laughs> best girl MVP? That's right. We got happy MVP. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was by far the greatest con. She missed four magic levels. And like how many? From seven to 40. That was 33 up. She missed four magic levels. Minimalist down. Congrats on the fantastic run and thanks for the memories. Petra MVP. Petra, honestly, okay. Okay. Everybody did a part. Except Shamir, but everybody did a part. Raging Storm is so fun. Hey, Katie Force, thanks so much for the sub, by the way. <laughs> I think I, I, I can't remember whether or not I thanked you earlier, but thanks for the support. That's sick. Oh, God. Enjoy your most in viewing and app reviewing. Holy shit, I beat Minimalist. We did it. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Constance MVP. Everyone did their part, though. Every single unit. Right? Like, even Eloise, bro. Even, like, Eloise helped us against Turtle. Come on, bro. Watch anime cutscene or no? Even Eloise. There you go. Kakadu number two. Sylvana. <laughs> An early game. Just kidding. Sylvain did really well in Grandeur. Okay, no fine. For gods. Rhea, your reign of tyranny is over. That's about a guard costume change. Glad I witnessed history, bro. That was just, like everyone, every unit was so sick. The time is like, come on, watch Cat Jam. We still got like two Raging Storms left, right? Bro, dodge. Um, I gotta say they're one liner. <laughs> and then we got a hug and kiss. And smooch. She pulled out Armor Lord after from the convoy. Time to do the sensible thing and have a speech about philosophy in the middle of the battle. Yeah, true. That's how Raging Storm works, right? If I go months straight. Dude, I started this like two months ago. Yeah, we saved some Raging Storm for the cutscene. You can see she's still lit up. Still her turn. We just defeated her, bro. <laughs> Easy. Is it? Is it over? It's the run over. Oh, Crip Fergie. Yo, she passed out again. It's the lore. She passes out whenever her hair changes color. Like unflinching stare. Yeah. No, Sylvain did actually pretty good in Grander. In an early game too, alright? Like wrong house, wrong house. You know what Sylvain did? You know what Sylvain did, wrong house? You're gonna hear it, you're gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> Sylvain was critical. Wrong house. Uh oh. Two words. Chapter four. <laughs> Belated GG. What's up, Curry Master? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I believe. I mean, to be fair, I didn't have Edelgard to do it. Right? Normally, I want to keep Edelgard at one. But on that day, I had Sylvain. Oh, and Hair Salon. Flain. 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 Now, when's the Warrior Flame run? Yo, Warrior Flame and um, Burden Wind Minimalist? We could do that, right? Oh my god. Yo, Curry Master, welcome in. When is the drip <laughs> I did promise a drip run. I think we can save over this one. Warrior Flame backed up by Bishop Ferdy. Good news, Byleth, he finally passed. Why was it up your heart? <laughs> what? Bad online? <laughs> kind of weird channel. Won't lie. Can't wait for Bishop. Yo, Bishop, to, it's all worth, gonna be worth it for Bishop to do. The Holy for the fashion run. The Church of Saros, both Bro. Into the people's memories. Fodlin was finally one unified nation. Can't wait. GG's well done. Bopping lizards. We bopped a lizard, guard, true. And the Adrestian Empire. This has definitely been my favorite three houses run. For sure. Yo, dri <laughs> Drip Minimalist. We're already doing Super Clyde, right? Oh, but one of them was Bonite Dimitri, though. So we can't do that. <laughs> We'd have to do Azure Moon. Yo, he's got 11 sword. What the hell? You see him? We got a Dark Mage with 11 sword back there. Never forget Bishop to do. It's true, we got to. 
drip low exp <laughs> hmm. can't go bishop to do without blue lions yeah it's got to be blue line blue lines minimalist nah kirby wants blue kirby wants a uh, burden win yo holy shit okay so we didn't get the pfft, Dimitri MVP, yes. We didn't get the we didn't get the Dorothea MVP like we got on last run. Burden win, yes. We did not get Dorothea MVP. I didn't marry anyone, no. I didn't pick up the ring. 36 turns, chapter one. <laughs> Petra, yeah. Yo, Bernadette. Bernadette actually did pretty well. I'm surprised how quickly the uh, vengeance fell off. Yeah, this is when I was like, holy shit, Petra's actually like kinda good. Yeah, Petra early game. <laughs> Petra, Petra, Petra. D4, she did have to steal two evasion rings. Damn. Vengeance saying and Remire, true. Bernadette was like vengeancing somebody each turn. Yeah, this Petra was nuts. Wait, how did I get a Yuri MVP on that? Oh, I was super training Yuri there. We were taking over. This is where const this is where I was like, wait a minute. This is when I realized. I was like, wait a minute, this unit's kinda good. <laughs> forgotten is never gonna be forgotten. Sick mage teleporting, yes. Yeah, we discovered the teleporting mage. Oh, I wonder what happened here. Gee. <laughs> yeah, Petra just like, she just got sick levels in the start. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, Super Byleth happens. And I was like, all right. Let's actually get back to it. Oh yeah, one turn to chapter 11. I was like, wait a minute, I can just bolting this woman. <laughs> Easy. Should be fine. You one turn chapter 11. Yeah, I just, I shut her crit with the bolting. Great Bridge, of course it was Edelgard there. Capturing Deirdre was, yeah, come on, Yurisa. Yuri yeah. Yurisa was MVP. Four turn of the Anna Paralogue, and then it was like all Edelgard from then on out until Siege of Arena Road. Oh, I had to level up Constance there. Edelgard Gridle was like, okay, yeah, Petra's gonna be it. <laughs> 61 turns? Sad. 16 turns. Hell yeah. There we go. Finally, Constance MVP in final map. Wait, Legend of, Le Legend of Lake MVP was Yurisa by a lot. Dude, Yurisa was sick. He just comes in ready to go. Like, holy shit, let's go. Edel the part two MVP. Yeah, I mean, Edelgard, Super Edelgard's kind of good. Petra Paralog is cloudy. Yep. Coco was an offense, yeah. Petra Paralog is cloudy. Yo, Arn, turn that shit up, bro. It's Star in the Morning Sky. <laughs> oh, okay, Anna. I did make a mistake with Anna. I recruited her way too early. I should have just waited until, like, chapter 11. Because I'm like, I mean, she was always kind of shit, but she would have at least had some stats, right? Zero, zero. Cloudy with a chance of fireballs. Dorothea, most forgotten. Dorothea was like early game MVP by a ton, dude. Super early game MVP. I actually wonder if we're going to have any marriages, because I don't think I got any A supports. I didn't, like, I really didn't get many supports at all this run. And I know for a fact when I went into 17, I got all the supports I could have got. Right? I mean, Ash gave us the boots para. A romantic run pog. Let's see if we got any pairings. Any pairings. I mean, Ash gave us the boots. That counts, right? He was. That was the only time I ever deployed a unit with bow range plus one. Let it be known. That was the only time I ever deployed a unit with bow range plus one. Dorothea, yeah, Dorothea is MVP for like literally the entire. Like, how do I how do I win without gambits? And how do I hit without rally charm? Yo, Hanneman, perfect record, Hanneman, bro. When did I deploy him? His paralog. Yeah, we saved Ash. Oh, you got I can like we can't even see the um things real quick. One sec. You can't even see the like stories. Here you go. Let me do that for you. You saved Speed Carrot. Yeah, maybe some of you guys want to see. Oh, Caspar dead. Rip Caspar. <laughs> Yo, Linhart got three kills though. Got two pairings in ours. One because Yuri was Bernie's adjutant, and then Ferdinand Petra. Mm. Let's see, because you need an A support to get a pairing, right? The fishing ponds. Lamal. What up, Lenhart? I think, because what? You need an A support, and I think, like, combined at least 100 kills. Or no. Casper already died. Lamal, Ferdinand. They don't even get their post time skip. It's actually kind of cool. Unable to make the promise meeting. Yeah, I started out Ferdinand, like, maybe Ferdinand can do it. I knew, I knew, though. Yo, Manuela with more kills than Ferdinand. Easy. Manuela? Strong unit. Strong unit, Manuela, bro. Top tier. I don't want to hear anybody say otherwise, top tier. It's been dropped off in both rounds. No way, Ferdinand. Yeah, come on. 
So Bam was like okay last round, but he had high defense. That was it. He just had high defense. Wait, you got you had as many kills as Manuela did. Holy shit! Let's go, Eloise. What happened to Ferdinand? Oh, he just he died in part one, but they don't actually die in part one. They just like leave and don't come back. Yeah, Manuela's like super good. I was a Manuela believer from the start. Yo, 11 kills Hubert. Let's go. He was pretty strong early game. Okay, I'm glad I went back and saved Hubert. Like, gonna say otherwise, I'm almost here. Top, top. Yeah, Hubert died in the South of Feralog, and we went back to get him. We, like, really debated. I was like, ah, oh, I'll carry on without him. And eventually I was like, nah, I gotta go back. Yo, 24 kills on Crimson Flower. Can I complain about three hoops? Hubert died? No, not yet. Lysithia. Lysithia. I'm actually shocked how good she was. Just mage the whole time. Lamal. <laughs> Like, that's actually super good. Baltus, my early game man. I guess that's my number of battles then. She just uses a pair of warp user in addition to her other utility. She did get war. I just put her full faith for a while. In addition to her other utility, Snowfire. Rally Charm. High magic with sword rank. She can use Leaven Sword with high magic straight out the gate. Just straight into Thief. Bam. Thief. Leaven Sword. Immediate utility. Wait, 17 kills on Dorothea? Yeah, I was trying. Or we're going to this outfit? I don't really know. 17 kills, bro. I tried. I tried to make it work. It didn't happen, though. I tried to make it work. Come on. But Dorothea was definitely early game MVP. Rally Charm. Raisins. What up? Last time he had high defense, this time he just kind of like fell off after a while. And now Black Eagles, you don't even have her, you don't have her. Ooh. We'll guess. <laughs> we'll guess. Come on, where are my pairings? Dried grapes. Yo, Leonie. Leonie was so good. I had to fix her. She came in with some, like, weird champ ranks. Like, I really had to... Okay, I, I can fix her. I did. I got her to Bow Knight, all right? It did happen. You know, she was in Powder for a while. She was only in Bow Knight for, like, the last four maps, but we still had it. Yo, Yuritsa was... Yuritsa was a champion, bro. Okay, who's number one? Who had... Who's number one? Take your bets. Take your bets. Who's number one? I mean, we're, like, we're coming up on them now, but... Wait, where's Happy? I'm just glad no one went sniper this round. Yo, I hate sniper drip. Yeah, hey, no snipers, no flyers. No archers even. Well, except Ash from this paralog, but like. Details, details. I bet Const it's gotta be Constance, number one. Either Constance or Byleth. Actually, By Byleth, Byleth. Constance got a lot of kills, but nowhere near as many as. 93? Well, Shamir, I never deployed her though. Petra, ooh. Mid Ash of Brigand, true. Coco number one? Nah, it's gotta be Byleth. 93 is hard to beat, though. That's a lot of kills. I was not expecting that. 133 on Petra. Holy shit. Wait, how many did Yuri have? Because we haven't seen Yuri yet, right? Has 93 kills from part one alone? Yeah. Byleth killed, like, how many Paralogs? 93 to 133? I think they swore by battles, though. Yo, wait, they actually did get a pairing? No. <laughs> I, I didn't know they had an A. Okay, not bad. Maybe they just got it at the very end. 96, 167 on Constance, though. That's hard to beat. Come on. The KD on constant, yeah, that's a huge ratio. Over 50%. Aww. 90, <laughs> 97. Chomp. Number of battles too with Yuri Coco. Oh. Only 97, Lamal. What a scrub, noob, Edelgard. Okay, it should be fair, she should get less than on her. Alright, how many did Byleth get? Byleth's always last, right? 171. Constance was number one. 
wasn't Constance was like 174, right? Or 190 something? So you're gonna end stream? Yeah. Yeah, after this. No 167. Oh, let's go. 171. Told you Violet had it. Come on, it's hard to beat Fergie. Can I choose right? Yeah, go ahead, Kevin. For sure. I redeem right points. Yo, called it. I called it too, to be fair, but like, you. So I need to figure out a new run to do then, right? Yeah, I'd agree to meet you right second last. Bayless number one, true, true. Yeah, Bayless always at the very last. Run and win plus, if they don't have any combat, yeah. Need some big gnats. I'm trying to, so like, I had some other, like, older epi runs too. I can't believe these avatars keep getting away with it. Yeah. Damn. So I have some older runs that I maybe wanted to try restarting. Like, uh, FE8 low XP deployment, I wanted to restart. Not restart, but like, resume, rather. Um, and FE6, FE7 draft race. There we go. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But <laughs> no, I mean, I could start some of that too. Like, I really should. Lordless. Ouch. Lordless. So, oh. no, I'm not doing Lordless. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Lady Zuria. What is Lady Zuria streaming? Three houses, sick. Nine of problems with a quad ain't one. Absolutely, I can. They're playing three houses, so sounds sick. Yeah, no, um, I'm probably going to discuss it in the Discord, which one I want to do next. I could do another three houses one. I could do, you know, we could do like Blue Lion's Drip. I feel like, okay, Drip is cool. I feel like it would get kind of old, though. Right, like once we get people into their outfits, I feel like it's like, okay, now what? I feel, I feel like that would get old, you know? I'm probably not going to do it. Like not on stream at least, right? Like we've we've seen we've seen the outfits. Maybe we can get to part two and like get a save for that. I feel like that would get kind of old. We could do like Vernon Wind Minimalist. We could copy, um, make the rules harder. We could make the rules harder, be like, you really can't do anything in Monastery at all. Like, the moment you get in Monastery, you have to do mandatory quests and then, like, get out. Right? We could do that. Slash Ray, Lady Zarea. Full Minimalist, no spending money. Well, that's plus Scrooge rules, which was, um, Flashing Fire's one, but I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, let's do some Super Claude. Hit the part two, do Super Violet, Super Claude. You can see, Burning Wind early game sounds garbo. No rally turn, you're playing Hilda on the only place, do something. Ah! Burning Wind, no paralogs. I like doing paralogs, though. All right, anyway, hey guys, you better go on this raid, people. Anyway, Ladies Raid is playing some three houses. This was a super fun run. I loved having all of you in here. It was so sick. Honestly, this was like, this was by far my, my favorite run the stream in a long time. I already did Exclaim Discord. Someone do it again. Ah, Exclaim Discord. Yeah, in that Discord, I'm going to be talking about the next one that I'm going to choose to do. And I hope to see you all there, too. This is a super fun stream. It was really short. It was only four hours. I feel like I had to do something else. I'll do some Dark Souls again. I don't know. No, I'm sending you guys off. I loved having all you in here. This was a fun stream. Be cool and show up to Lady Zarea. Take it easy. All right. I'm going to go now. Love you all. Bye-bye.